Hey. What up? How you guys doing? Where did you see him, Meowzoid? Like, what? Hey. Saw Chapel and then Ben right after. Shut the fuck up. Where? Where were you that you were just seeing all the musical artists in the world? What's up, gamers? I went outside yesterday. Big day for me. Big, huge day for me. Um, let me turn music down. Um, outside lands. Where is that? Outside lands music festival? Where is that? San Francisco? Oh! That sounds fun. I didn't know that that was going on. Not that I would have gone, but maybe. I, I also saw Miranda Sings. Did you? Did you see Miranda Sings sing? Whoa! It was streamed on Amazon's music Twitch account. Oh, cool. Is it still being streamed? Rev, thank you for the three. I appreciate that. Did, he, did she take her karaoke up on stage? Um, she's like, hey, this one did numbers on YouTube, so here we go. We're running it back. Um, That's cool. Yeah, I went to a concert yesterday. Uh, I didn't say that I was going to see a concert beforehand because I didn't want to... You know, um, but me and uh, me and the yarn went and saw Ben Howard last night, which you guys may not know who Ben Howard is, but you may have heard Ben Howard. Um, his most popular song, according to Spotify, is this is this one. Uh, let me go to the chorus. Have you guys heard this song? Cutie said it was mid. It was kind of mid. I'll tell the, a lot of stuff happened. Um, this song also is really popular. It's called Old Pine. It's very chill. Guitar. Music. This is a great song. I did. The funniest part about Cutie's Instagram story is that if you watch her story, um, she filmed me filming. And the reason I was filming is because I was vlogging it. And then she pans to Caroline. And it's so funny because I turned 40 um, today. So Chewy, thank you for the me, uh, two months. I appreciate it. What? This is my gift. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do is give people uh, birthday gifts on your birthday. That's what it is. Happy birthday, by the way. Uh, she pans to Caroline and Caroline's reading song lyrics for the wrong song. Caroline's sitting there trying to follow along to lyrics of Old Pine, which half the song isn't even music. It's, or it's just music. It's not lyrics. We were listening to Diamonds, which is an entirely different song. So Caroline's just Lucky lost. 14, let's go. And it was so funny. Um, Al, thank you for the 13. Lucky 13. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, we went to this concert. I have to tell you the story about the concert because somehow we managed to have it be the most here. We'll make a playlist off of this today. This will be a little bit more mellow, but I'm okay with it. Start it over. Um, so when Brody was here, we were hanging around and I saw that Ben Howard was going to be in LA. And I was like, <sighs> I was like, I really want to go. I saw Ben Howard in 2015 and it was amazing. I saw him in Portland at the Roseland theater. If anybody has ever been there, uh, it's like a little, it's a little theater, pretty small, um, super sweaty. Cause it's like a small theater, but I went 2015 was like, he was doing really good. He had come out some really good albums, like within the last couple of years. So I was like, he was coming back to LA and I was like, uh, I was like, 
I kind of want to go, but like, I don't really know if anybody would go with me. Cause it's like kind of niche. Like I, not too many people know. And Brody was like, just go. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. It was like 50 bucks. I was like, I'll just go. So I bought a ticket by myself and I was like fully intending to go by myself. Um, soul, thank you for the gifty. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you. So I was like, I'm just going to go by myself. So I sit on this ticket for like a month or something like that. And uh, Caroline was like, what are you doing on Saturday? And I was like, I'm, I'm just going to go to a concert. Like I'm going by myself. And, and I was like, if you want to hang out, like let's hang out beforehand and then I'll just go. And Caroline was like, do you want a buddy? And at this moment, I feel a lot of pressure because if you invite your friends to go see a concert for a band that they've never seen, what if they hate it? What if they just don't like it? Then you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to be there and I'm going to be thinking about if they if they like it. And I was like, well, I was like, here's the artist. Um, I'm more than happy for you to come with me. I just, you know, I don't want you to. It's a it's a niche thing. And he was like and she she listened to it and she was like, oh, no, this is vibey. I like this. And she's like, I'd love to go. And I was like, oh, OK, that's really cool, because I mean. I, it's nice to have somebody be kind of like pushy about hanging out rather than like, oh, we should hang out sometime. And then you just like never really do it. She was like, no, 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 I'll come. And I was like, oh, OK, yeah, sure. So I bought another ticket and then we were like, let's invite Cutie. And so I text Cutie and I was like, hey, do you want to go to this concert with me and Caroline? It's for, you know, this niche artist, uh, but it'll be like a small theater. Like, I think it'll be a fun like girls night. And Cutie doesn't reply. So I buy me and Caroline tickets and there's a ticket next to us. And I was like, should I buy it? That way, if she says yes. And if not, like, it's not like it's like 50 bucks. So it's not like, you know, I'm not out like a bunch. And we were like, you know, it's just one seat. Like, it probably won't sell out. So naturally, the next day, Cutie texts me and she's like, hey, yeah, I'll go. And I was like, fuck. So I look, the only seat that's available is the seat behind us. So it's like me and Caroline and then Cutie directly behind us. And I was like, okay, so I either tell Cutie there's no seats or I say she gets the cuck seat. And I was like, listen, there's a there's a seat behind us. Like, I'll grab it and then maybe we can, like, see if anybody will scooch. And she was like, yeah, do that. And I was like, great. Sounds awesome. Um... And so we get tickets to this concert. The day comes up and uh, the concert was at the United Theater on Broadway, which is not super close to the Hollywood Bowl, but it doesn't really matter. So I, we go to Caroline's and then we're going to go to um, this concert. And it's just the traffic is like the worst that it could possibly be. Right. Right. And because there's like some there's concerts like everywhere that night, apparently. So we go to this restaurant that's right next to the theater um, and we're in there and we're having dinner and we're late. Like we're late for like the concert starts at eight. We show up at the restaurant at like 750 and we were like, OK, there's an opener like we can just go get some food real quick and then maybe we can get in there like before Ben Howard comes on stage. So we go into the restaurant and we sit there and we're eating. We're having a nice time. Like I got some like fried artichoke which was like one of the better things I've had in LA like I did not expect it to be that good I'm gonna go back to that place and get that specifically it was so good um anonymous thank you I really appreciate that thank you a planner's worst nightmare no we were gonna get there with plenty of time and then we just didn't so we're, we're kind of like scarfing our food cutie gets like an alert on her phone because she has like a safety app or something and it says man with machete uh br on broadway like watch out and we're just like okay um and i remembered that when we sat down our waitress didn't come up to us immediately because she was like oh sorry there was like a little scuffle outside that we had to deal with and i remembered in that instant i was like did she have to deal with a machete guy? A guy with a machete walking around? And so I kind of was comforted because I was like, well, okay, it sounds like it's been dealt with. So we're on edge already. Um, Blue Boy, thank you for the four. I appreciate that very much. And uh, yeah, Citizen App. I have it on my phone too. It's kind of nice because it like pings you about anything happening nearby, like, you know, something, whatever. So anyways, we, we eat our food and we go in and it's perfect timing. The, um, 
the Cyril, thank you for the 10. You know what's weird? This brand, if you ever get this brand for dogs, whatever it says, it smells like. Like, I got the yogurt and green apple ones. They smelled so good. These ones actually smell like pumpkin and cinnamon. This is a weird thing to say, but they really smell good. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Oki says thank you. So, um... So we walk over to the concert. It's perfect timing. And uh, is the music competing? Uh, it might be. I feel like every time I go live, my mic is quieter. And I don't know what's going on. Here, let me turn my mic up a little bit. Is that a little bit... Is that any better? Did my mic get louder at all? Every time I go live, I look and it is... My mic is like metering less and less. I don't know if like my cable is dying or something. Um, yeah, I got to get that figured out. I don't know. I don't know. It's the same, I think. Oh, yeah. See, it shouldn't be the same because I adjusted it up like 10 decibels. What about this? Is that better? Wait, let me see something real quick. Filters. I don't really need... Okay. Huh. Da! Okay, I have a limiter on here. Wait. Why do I have a limiter? It won't get rid of it, though. What is that line? Interesting. Um, no, I have a limited on there, but my limiter is higher than what it's limiting at. Even when I tried to peak it. Yeah, I turned, I turned the volume up a ton and it's saying that it's like not any louder, which I don't understand. Does my mic sound okay? Like quality wise, does it sound fine? Something happened to my Go XLR like a month ago and it's like my mic just got quieter and I can't turn it up without it starting to sound shitty like maybe it's my cloud lifter or something i don't know i don't know what's going on now it sounds like it's what the fuck happened too much gain no okay does that sound okay well that sounded weird how's it sound now i turned it back down a little bit I can turn the monitor on so I can hear it, but I won't have to do that. We're getting sidetracked. Yeah, I'm I just want to make sure this sounds okay. That was before it sounds good now. Okay. Cuz I can turn my music down. It's not a big deal. I just I don't understand why it's not doing that. It's weird. So So we go into the concert and the venue's really pretty by the way. Um you guys should see this venue. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm so confused because I have been here before and I can't figure out why. I can't figure out why I've been here or when I've been here. I know that I've been here before. And I asked Cutie, I was like, did you have the stream rewards here? And she was like, no. And I was like, what? Yeah, look at all these pictures. It's got this like beautiful, like all the ceilings are like carved out. Like it's, it's absolutely, oh, here's a great photo. It's absolutely stunning, stunning theater. Just beautiful. It's like a cathedral. It's in LA. Yeah, it's called the United Theater and it's on Broadway. So I don't know if there's another United Theater, but whatever. Um, it's great. It looks like the Wiltern. Yeah, maybe I just, may I don't know. I don't know. I'm convinced I've been there. So we go in and we go up to get, um, first of all, I also have to mention that when we called an Uber to this place, uh, somebody got in our Uber. So that's partially why we were late. Cause Caroline had to cancel her Uber with somebody in it because somebody just got in our Uber. Don't know why that happened. So, so we get to the restaurant and, or sorry, we get to the, the place and we go upstairs and, uh, Caroline gets a beer, cutie gets some candy. I get some candy. We go sit down. There's a seat. So there's like a guy sitting on the end. Then there's an extra seat. Then there's me and Caroline's seat. And then there's a seat behind us in between these two couples. 
and Caroline walks up to the guy that's sitting there by himself and goes, is this seat taken? Is anybody sitting here? And the guy was like, no, I just came by myself. And Caroline turns around and really loudly, really loudly goes, this guy came alone. Maybe we can sit here. (laughs) And, and, and so like, and then Cutie was like, it's fine. Like it's fine to do things by yourself. Like it's okay. So then we like, we sit down all three of us and, and Cutie's on high alert because we're like waiting for like this solo person to come up and like take their seat. They never ended up coming up, which is awesome because then all three of us could like sit together. So like <laughs> Caroline, we're sitting there and Caroline's like, that's, that's crazy. I never go to concerts just by myself. And we're like, Caroline, shut up. Like, sh- like stop talking so loud. And Kitty's like, she's not making fun of you. She's just like, she's just talking. She's just saying things. She's like, she's just speaking out loud and we're like shut the fuck up um this poor guy is just like trying to have like a night out on his own um literally what you were gonna do before she crashed so um so we're sitting there and we're walking we're listening to the concert and first of all i'm just gonna say it it wasn't nearly as good as the first time i saw because we were all the way in the back there was one to two rows behind us we were as far away as you could get ben howard is very british so i can't understand what the fuck he's saying and the acoustics in this place are like not that great so the sound is like bouncing all over the place so he gets up on stage and he immediately goes into song he doesn't talk very much um when he performs like he never you know how a lot of artists will stop and they'll do like a little interlude where they like banter with the crowd he doesn't do that in fact he doesn't even talk at all unless somebody yells and then he'll like say something back um but he doesn't talk at all but when he talks he's like like he's super british and we're like i don't know what the hell he's saying um and the crowd is just like like there was this one girl that was like off to the side that was like yelling and we don't know what she was saying every time she yelled and he'd be like huh and i remember the first time i saw him he was the same he didn't talk the whole concert uh except this one lady up in the like loft was really drunk and she was yelling and he was like you being fucking annoying you bloody cunt and uh that's more australian uh and then everybody laughed and that was like the only thing he said the whole concert he didn't talk at all like he kind of when he gets up there you can tell he's like all business like he's there to play music and he's not really a banterer and he's not really there to like make relationships with his fans he just gets up and plays music um which is kind of cool i respect it you know i respect it (laughs) i unsubbed after that accent i used to do a british accent and not able to do an aussie accent and as i've kind of picked up an aussie accent like i now go i default to that and i can't do british unless i say in it um there's this other person that keeps yelling daddy at at him when he's performing. It was just like a weird crowd. But anyways, we're watching the concert and Caroline goes up to go to the bathroom and Cutie scoots over. So she's sitting next to me and she was like the whole time, the guy that was sitting next to Cutie kept getting up like every three songs to like go out the side door. But then he would come back with like no beer or anything. And Cutie scoots over and she's like this guy next to me is pooping his pants she he's and the whole concert i kept getting like kind of these weird whiffs but i thought that it was the smoke machines that they were using because you know how smoke machines kind of smell weird i thought that it was the smoke machine i because i couldn't smell it enough to really like tell it was a fart and she was like i don't know what's going on every time he gets up to leave he comes back and he just it just smells like farts um and so we ended up uh we stayed we left uh like right when it was over basically but uh he only played three songs that i knew which was really sucked he didn't really fuck around and play a whole lot of his uh old music he played mostly his new music he kind of went backwards so his first song i didn't know what it was and then he played the three songs he played that i knew where where he played um 
Diamonds, he played, um, they were all from Every Kingdom, I think. Or sorry, not Every Kingdom. They were from, uh, I forget where we were. So he played I Forget Where We Were, which is one of my favorite songs. He played uh, Diamonds, and then he played Small Things. Yeah, he played Small Things, which was really cool. That was the first one he played that I recognized. So it went Small Things. Um, here, I'll show you the, the set list, actually. Um... Because they probably put it on here. Yeah, so if you're if you're a fan, um, this is what he played. He played Days of Lantana, didn't know this one, didn't didn't know this one, 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 didn't know this one. This one I recognized a little bit, but I don't know it. Um, I I knew small things. Forget where we were is one of my favorites. Diamonds is pretty good. It's it's this Diamonds is one of his older songs that I liked, and then um and Cutie recognized Diamonds because she knew Ben Howard. But and then I didn't know this one and I didn't know this one. I didn't know this one. So it was kind of a bummer because it was like mostly songs that I didn't recognize. But he's so good. Like he just, he's live, like fantastic. So so that was cool. So then we got up and we left. Um, and then, yeah, pretty much just like went home. So, yeah, he drew a reasonable crowd today. It was mostly young people mixed with a few old folks. It was interesting. The concert that I went to, I kind of surveyed the people i don't know if you guys do this when you go to concerts do you ever survey everybody else that's there to see if they're similar to you or or see if like maybe you just listen to music that's like a different genre from what people would think yeah because i was looking around and i was like okay what kind of audience does this person have and it seemed like it was a lot of people that looked like they were from like the pacific northwest <laughs> whatever that means and then behind me there was i kid you not a row of like four or five like i don't want to say older women but women that looked very like there was this like lady that looked like a housewife kind of and she was crocheting she was like an older lady she had like a dress on like she looked like somebody's like aunt or somebody's like grandma kind of and she was just crocheting while she was listening to the concert and I realized that a lot of people probably buy tickets to concerts of artists that they don't know who they are because um they just are affordable and they're happening you know and I I didn't really think about that I kind of think about like you go to an artist that you like but I was like I bet a lot of people here just saw that the tickets were 50 bucks and that's a decent price to go see a concert of somebody that you don't know if you think it might be decent um Lucy thank you for the prime I appreciate that and uh also in the middle of the concerts uh cutie decided to dm Ben Howard <laughs> she's on this role of like sending dms so she took she took a photo of this stage and she dm'd and said great stuff <laughs> it started with chapel and now it's a bit <laughs> is that we just yeah she said great stuff um yeah but it was really fun we had a good time and i'm glad that i I I didn't have to go by myself. I would have been fine to go by myself, but I was I'm just really sad he didn't play Old Pine. Cuz Old Pine is um this is I forget where we were, which is one of my favorites. But for for I forget where we were and Diamonds, he played it really low key. Like there's a part in the song where it really like goes into like some heavier drumming and the song kind of like picks up and they didn't do that actually like half of the band left the stage so it was just him and uh one other guitar guy that sang those which was interesting i got barricaded in the five hours i was waiting for chapel girls were staring at me waiting for me to leave after the other acts i didn't oh they were like um yeah this isn't for you this is not music for you maybe sam went by herself she would have been cursed to be the farter maybe honestly I, I might have been. No, I was sitting in a different spot originally, and then I uh, switched my tickets out for ones where there was multiple tickets. So I would have been sitting the same place, but on the other side. There was one ticket I saw that freed up last second that was down, like, in front of the stage. And it was, like, 150 bucks. 
And I think if I would have been by myself, I might have considered it because it was like it was sold out when I looked originally. And then last second, it was like down there. And I was like, ooh, maybe. Got tickets by the far. But yeah, so I mean, you know, that is what it is. But that was really fun. I uh, didn't get killed by anybody with a machete. Um, and I got some free M&Ms out of it. So, yeah. Went to a K-pop concert and was asked if I was accompanying my little sister. <laughs> That's crazy. I will say, though, that K-pop seems to have, like, a wider uh, demographic than I thought it would. Like, people of, like, all ages and, like, genders and stuff. Like, K-pop is blown up in the last, like, five years. Yeah? You think? I got told to quiet down by someone's mom because I was singing too loud at a Jonas Brothers concert. Oh, yeah, I would have thrown hands. If anybody ever gets mad... Have you seen the, the like, TikToks of people filming and then somebody singing in their TikTok and they get mad? Best moments in life when vending um, machines give you double. When vending machines give you a double. True. So true. The people who asked me are security, so I guess they just didn't know. Oh. I mean, it's like, I'm in here. I paid to be in here. In their comments, yeah, somebody was like, oh my god, if you're this person, like, you ruin it for everybody else. It's like, singing bad? Like, okay, if singing bad is a crime, lock me up, because I'm horrendous. It became discourse whether you should sing at concerts. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? Nobody gives a shit if you sing at a concert. What happens is when you're filming, the way the microphones and the phone work is they aren't going to film what's all the way over there. They're going to film what's closest. So you'll catch somebody singing when you couldn't hear it that bad when you're there in person. And so it's it's simply a thing that happens with phones. Like, oh my God, you ruined my phone recording that I'm going to watch over and over and over again. It's like, oh, fuck right off. And I went to Olivia Rodrigo. The family next to me was on their phones the whole time. Dude, I went to Paramore and I mean, you know, you bought your tickets. You enjoy the concert how you want to. But there was these two girls that were sitting next to me. Everybody stood up as soon as Paramore came out. And there was these two girls that were next to me and they sat on their phones the whole time. And I was like, dude, go like, pl like blast Spotify. Like you'll get the same experience way cheaper. I went to Paramore concert at an open air venue on a windy day and the sound from the speakers was literally getting blown away. Oh, that's wild. Kind of cool that it was like acapella though. Reminds me of this. I wonder if this is the same one that I saw. Is she just a random dude? I thought that was like her boyfriend. <laughs> That's a pretty stage though. Look at him, he's got like the shifty eyes. <laughs> he's like, I'm just trying to like enjoy the concert. That's so pretty though, holy shit. Um, so funny when they try to record the crowd. I have the same um, video on my phone <laughs> because I vlogged it because I'm working on like a vlog and the concert's going to be just like a part of it. Um, and I recorded myself, not singing, just like I recorded me and then I like recorded like Cutie and Caroline, like, hi. Um, and the lady behind me definitely is like, she, she's watching. She's, she's scoping it out. Let me see if I can show you. Um, dude, my phone, do you, and does anybody on Android just get a crazy amount of uh, like updates? Okay, let me, let me see if I can. Did I record my lap? I remember I flipped the camera once because I was like, I was like awkward because I was like, oh, she's watching. Oh <laughs> yeah, this one. <laughs> this one, okay. I'm just gonna show you a still because, like, the video will end before I can show you. This lady is like watching me, like she's looking at me while I'm recording my <laughs> Like, like she's like, <laughs> so I am the problem. She's judging you 100%.
I think concerts have gotten worse since COVID. There's a whole generation who just missed out on learning how to act and make up their own etiquette. You could be right. You could get... Uh, this, again, maybe a boomer take, but I... I think that recording concerts is like really cool and I'm also really happy that there's like people I'm happy that people preserve concerts from like a bunch of different angles. I do think that phones are a downer on a lot of experiences when it comes to live shows, especially when like you're watching in a dark room and there's somebody recording next to you that doesn't know how to turn their fucking oh <laughs> Here's another thing. I forgot this. This is debatably the funniest thing of the night. So we're sitting there and we're, um, we're watching the concert. And Caroline, being the 87-year-old woman that she is, takes her phone out to take a photo or a video of the stage to post on her Instagram story. And this venue is like really dark right like and we're up in the back so like the light isn't reaching up here um bitch forgets to turn her flash off so her flash goes off she like puts her phone in her lap and she goes i can just see her like you can't see her face but i'm sure it's bright red and she's just like staring and i was like you fucking idiot and we're laughing because obviously she forgot to and people are kind of like and me and Cutie losing it. We're just like crying laughing because it's like, that's like the most Caroline thing to do, right? So then a little bit later, I, being the tech savvy person I am, uh, records a little bit with my phone with the flash off. And Caroline um, has her phone out also. And so Cutie is like, I'm going to be a bitch and I'm going to record them with their phones out just to be a bitch. And this bitch leaves her flash on also. So she also has her flash on for the concert. And immediately, like, she puts her phone down in her lap. And I just see her like this with, like, her hair over her face, like, just hiding. And me and Caroline are like, and I told them, I was like, if I do it next, we're leaving. Like, we're not staying. I don't care if they're playing the best song that he's ever made. We are walking out of here. We're leaving. I didn't because I'm not a fucking idiot. But, yeah. Caroline looking at the lyrics yeah so if, again I said this at the beginning but if you look at cutie's Instagram story Caroline is looking up the lyrics of the song that's being played but that wasn't even the song that was currently being played he didn't play that song at all during the concert so Caroline's looking at the lyrics on her phone trying to keep up with the song not even the right song not even the right song completely different song <laughs> okay when did we get this emote Oh, that's funny. It's a gaggle of gals flashing people in public. Yeah, classic. Imagine sitting in front of three idiots with spotlights they use for fireworks. <laughs> Just dumb. Dumb as hell. Just a couple boomers. So, yeah, then we left and that was it. It was a fun night. It was fun. I was sad that the concert wasn't as good as I had hoped to, but it doesn't really matter. It was cool. He doesn't talk at all, but when he talks, he's like, blah, 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 like he's super British. And we're like, oh. <laughs> that's listen. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's saying. But when he talks, he's like, blah, 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 blah. Okay. okay, that's it. I, you don't know that the teacher wasn't British and Charlie Brown, so come on. <laughs> mm. Do you get sad when tall people are in front of you at concerts? Yeah, if I'm down on the floor, these seats were like, like the concert venue kind of like, um, it kind of went like this. So it's like, if you're looking at this from the side, it was like, here's the stage. And then the seats kind of go like, ooh. So then these seats, you're like, basically like they're stacked like this. So it wasn't really too bad. Um, but if I'm down like in the pit, I'm not seeing shit. As a tall guy, I try to be nice about it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a tough one. Cause if you're tall, it's like, what do you do? Like not go to the concert, cut your head off. I don't know. 
Was this at the World Will Turn? No, it was at United Theater on Broadway. Beautiful. Finna be in the pit. Yeah, in the pit. I don't think I've been in the pit for like, I don't like to be in the pit. I like to be able to see the concert, but I don't want to mosh. I'm not a mosher. <laughs> Even the lobby of this place looks insane. Yeah, the lobby looks the same too. I get claustrophobic. I, yeah, I just don't want to do it. And it's also really hot and I don't want to be like sweaty. Sitting concerts are a vibe. Yeah, it's funny when you have a concert where everybody's got seats and then everybody stands and you're like, what the hell is that? I got pulled into a pit once at Coheed and Cambria show. Yeah, it sounds like a crazy show. Um, I almost died in the pit once. I went to a, uh, you guys are never going to believe that I... <laughs> Sometimes I go to tell you guys stories and while I'm telling them, I realize how ridiculous they are. I almost died in the pit at a Macklemore concert. And I don't think most people would assume that Macklemore concerts have a pit, <laughs> but apparently they do. So I was like up near the stage and there was a pit and it became a pit all of a sudden when I didn't know that it was becoming a pit. And I got pushed over and I fell and it was like slow-mo. It was like you had been pushed into the lake and I just, I fell back into the crowd and then I could see the sky, like a little circle of sky disappearing as the people closed in. And I, I remember thinking, this is how I die, getting trampled to death at a Macklemore concert. And then I saw a hand reaching down into the crowd and it grabbed the front of my shirt and it pulled me out and I got pulled up and there was maybe one of the widest and tallest women that I had ever seen in my life. And she had reached down like the hand of God to pull me out of the pit and she like, like sets me down and I was like, thank you and then she was like no problem and then she just like went back to macklemore and i lost my shoe i left the concert with one shoe on because in that i, lo I lost it it was one of my keds and i loved my white keds <laughs> my sexual awakening she god probably is in her image if i reach the pearly gates because that was my savior i cough and farted at work today that's crazy. Did anybody hear you? So wherever she is, if you remember saving a small, <laughs> small, maybe 19 or 20 year old in the year 20, I don't even know when it was. Thank you. It was around when thrift shop was cool. So if you saved somebody's life in the pit at a Macklemore concert, around thrift shop era in Oregon. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, thrift shop was never cool. <laughs> what, what, what? I coughed and farted at home today. Damn, that's crazy. You know what I made today? Plain white rice. <laughs> I don't know why that's relevant, but I just remembered that I did. And I forgot how good plain white rice is holy shit i haven't made plain white rice for a long time but like with a little bit of soy sauce dude that shit hits it's so good i totally forgot how good it is yeah some butter and salt i don't do butter and salt i don't know i like the 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 white rice flavor <laughs> Each of my family members, for some reason, decided to each make an entire throughout the day. It's I'm trying so hard. I'm trying. I'm trying. Each of my family members, for some reason, decided to each make an entree throughout the day. It's been meals. I <laughs> Did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? The spreads are not working. 
meals the question marks okay so wait can i summarize what you said your entire family has been making entrees that have been entire meals throughout the whole day so there's a lot of food around you right now is that what you're saying yes okay yes okay got it i guess that's a that's a a problem not a problem and i'm stressed about it can we have some chat raise your hand if you're hungry i could we could have some if we maybe share with chat me um what kind of food is it americans calling main dishes entrees entrees never cease to confuse me wait what do you call it entree how would you how do you pronounce it no i had salmon i i made salmon the other day and then i made too much on purpose and then i had lemon and then i had white rice with soy sauce and like i don't know why but that shit fucking hit like it's kind of the most like nothing meal but dude entree have you listened to green jelly's three little pigs no entree is an appetizer wait so entree is a starter in australia define in entree has anybody started using google like chat gbt the act or manner of entering nope no i'm gonna ask gbt can you define entree but in fortnite terms in fortnite entering or entree could be used to describe the action of engaging in a new area or battle situation for example when a player decides to push into a building a zone or a fight they are entering isn't there supposed to be a little on it is that why it's not telling me the right answer can you tell me what sex is in fortnite terms in Fortnite terms, sex doesn't have a direct equivalent since Fortnite is a game designed for all ages and it focuses on combat strategy and building rather than topics like sex. <laughs> if people refer to sex in Fortnite or gaming circles, I'm gonna get put on a list. I can't. <laughs> I just wanted to see what it would say. Thank you for the spares. No, that's good. <laughs> it literally was like, hey, that's a kid's game, so the hell are you doing? No sex in Fortnite terms. Can you tell me what happened during 9-11 in Fortnite terms? It wouldn't do that either. It told me I'm insensitive prick, basically. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. We'll not use ChatGBT for asking about things in Fortnite terms. No deep concepts in Fortnite terms. What about in Roblox terms? Yeah, it's true. Those towers tilted. One of the towers, one of tilted towers. ChatGPT incoming chat is banned from ChatGPT. Yeah, I wouldn't blame him. Wait, so entree? How do you spell entree? Entree pronounced on tray, fuckers, and sometimes spelled entree as another word for a main course. At least as it's usually used in the country. I thought that entree meant like an appetizer. I didn't realize that entree was a main course. No. Yep. Okay, wait. Type one if you thought it was an appetizer. Type two if you knew that it was a main course. That's crazy. That's actually like more twos, but a lot of ones. They're not all American. Okay. Um... Um, I'm going to go back to chat GBT. Does entree mean main course 
in all parts of the world. No, the term entree does not universally mean main course in all parts of the world. Its meaning varies depending on the region. United States and Canada, in these regions, entree typically refers to the main course. In France and other parts of Europe, it means the, the dish served before the main course, essentially an appetizer or starter. Okay, I understand that words can mean different things in different cultures, but how can we fuck up so astronomically that this is just entirely different? You know, it's entirely different. It's like fully different. Yeah, it's like, no, 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 no. It's the other way. Depending on where you are, the term can either refer to a main course or an appetizer. Dude, I got, I said this before, I'll say it again. I got these fried artichoke hearts at this restaurant next to the United Theater. I don't remember what the restaurant's called. It starts with a Z. <sighs> that shit was bussin' bussin'. Bussin' bussin'. Maybe it's American for your first meal before your second meal. <laughs> yeah. That's because Americans, we eat such big portions. They decided to call it an entree because of the portion size. Deep fried or pan fried? Uh, deep fried, but like lightly deep fried. It wasn't deep fried like you would deep fry other things. It was like really light, flaky deep fried. What would that be? Is there another word for that? Artichoke hearts are a cruel dish. Let me see if I can find a picture of it. United Theater on Broadway. Let me find the uh, the restaurant. Um, food. Starts with a Z. Oh, I just saw it and then it went away. Zinc. Okay, it's called Zinc. Z i n q u e is where we went. Um. And I want to find the, uh, the, the picture of it menus, because sometimes they have pictures. Um, yeah, because it was like right next door, so it was just really convenient. I don't know how to find a picture of it. Dude, it was good. It's like the first burger you eat before you eat your main burger, so it's also your dessert burger. Right. It's like how the hobbits have like second dinner and then like third dinner and stuff like that. Difference in the word fanny. Oh yeah, the word fanny um, in a lot of places means... Uh, so if you go to places and you say that you're wearing a fanny pack, that just could mean like your vagina. Because I remember when I went to New Zealand, I was wearing a fanny pack and I said I have a fanny pack and my aunt was like, don't say that. <laughs> And I was like, what? Yeah, because fanny, we, in America, like, fanny can mean, like, butt. But in other countries, fanny doesn't mean butt. Yeah, and you call them bum bags, which is funny, because we would be like, why would you call it that? Like, that's your butt. So no matter where you go, you're probably going to speak of it in terms of some sort of body part. Yeah, belt bag. Fan fan is the only fanny exposure I had. Well, there you go. You wear it on the front, so fanny pack would be correct. Yeah, I mean, technically, it's true. Yeah. Aunt Fanny robots, please. You're going to get people riled up. Why did they have to give... Why did they do this? Like... The, like, they really said, okay, we're going to make a character whose ass is just a dump truck. This is Aunt Fanny from the Robots movie. And you can see why they call her that. BBL robot. BBL robot. Literally a dump truck. Thick. There's probably a lot of Rule 34s on websites. Built like a whole ass snail. Yeah, if you hadn't named her Aunt Fanny, I would maybe assume that that was like a shell or like a, a bug situation, but she's... It's a butt. It's a, it's a full butt. 
She slayed till I realized. Yeah, she's slaying. Um, big old dumpy. Anyways, what did you guys do today? Any big, any big things going on? Your new sandwich merch today? Oh, sandwich hasn't dropped new merch in a while, so it's it's old new sandwich merch. That's not a butt. That's a property. That's got a, a whole zip code. I um I texted you again today, mom. I think that your phone is. I think I've I don't think you've gotten any of the texts that I've sent you in the like last month. Um today I was sitting in my yard. It was really weird. I was sitting in my yard and I heard something that I didn't realize I haven't heard for a long time. And I heard a home phone ring. And it was like maybe my neighbors or something. But yeah, my home phone rang. And I was like I haven't heard a home phone ring for like a decade. Yeah, a landline. And I was like, what the heck? And it just like threw me off guard. Sim, brother, what is happening? You get timed out for, I can't time you out for two minutes on that. Um, I still have a landline, why? I was just thinking about landlines the other day. I mean, like, is there any real reason to have one anymore? What does a landline even cost? Dude, it's like, there are a lot of people out there that are fully convinced that you need to have a landline phone in order to have internet. There are lots of people out there that still think this. It's, you know what it's nice though for? It's nice to basically have a burner phone number for when you sign up with, for stuff. So that way like your phone number doesn't get scam calls. You don't know. It's like an extra 20 bucks in packages that I've seen. Yeah, cause I am old and it was included in my internet package. And you just have it cause. Sometimes they bundle it with your internet TV, so it's actually cheaper. I mean, you know, if you're going to take a call and walk around the house for a while, maybe it's nice to, like, call on a landline and not have to have your phone uh, used up, I guess. Use it to buzz in people. I'll never get more mad than when at my last apartment I asked them if I could have access to the thing that you use to buzz people in and they said oh we don't pay money to maintenance it and then I saw people use it all day long dude I, uh, that's crazy it's nice to have a phone I can give my boss or something so they don't access me 24 7 yeah that's true there's so many pieces of paperwork too that you fill out nowadays that ask for landline and cell phone line and it's like I, I, every time I do it, I'm like, what do I write down? Some places, if DSL is your only option, the telco would try to bundle landline phone services with it since it's the same wires. Ah. Uh, I just want to twiddle the wire while speaking to a potential lover. <laughs> just, just one of these. The, the line twiddling. That's funny. You know, what's funny. Something that's like sentimental about life is those kinds of things that will get lost to time like there's so many little tiny things that will not get passed on as stories because nobody will ever remember that you did them like twisting the the cord while you're talking on the landline in a hundred years that will be lost because nobody's ever talked about it Nobody really, like, there's so many little things that you do. Slamming down the phone when you're pissed. Oh, I still do that. I still slam down the phone if I'm pissed. I throw my phone. You guys ever taken your phone and just tossed it onto the couch because you just don't want to deal with it anymore? I do that sometimes. Um, Using a banana phone. Let's see if I can show you which phone I had first. I bet I can find one. I bet I can find the exact one. Yep, here it is. This was my first phone. 
I was really, 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 really excited when my parents let me get a landline phone in my bedroom. And if you ever were of the era of landline phones, um, it was really exciting when your parents let you port a phone into your room. Like that was really cool. And my parents let me port a phone in my room and it was this phone. I think it was this exact one. And I had it in my bedroom and it was cool, but you had to really slam the phone down because when you put it into its holder, it would kind of like you had to, you know, and there was a lot of times that my parents would be like, is your phone off the hook? And I'd have to go check because it didn't really go in very well. And if your phone, if you had a phone that was like not quite put down, then none of the phones in the house would work. You're that old? Yeah, I'm turning 49 next year. Um, yeah, so that was cool. This is artifact we're looking for. Yeah, I had one of those. It was it was cool. Cool old phone. Um, and then I got and then we moved and then I didn't get a phone in my next room because we there was no plugs for it and I was like salty about it. <laughs> I thought I was moving backwards. You yes. Do you guys remember on landlines uh, when you could spy on somebody's phone call? So like if somebody was on the phone, you could pick up a phone somewhere else in the house really quietly and you could listen in. I hated that. Yes. I would always be like, because it's funny because like as a kid, I was like, what if my mom listens in on my conversation? It's like, what would a 10 year old possibly have to say that could be like, like, I realize now as an adult, there's nothing I could have said at 10 that my parents would have, like, heard on and called me out on because you can't really be, like, that mischievous at 10. Like, what, what's my mom going to do? Be like, oh, I heard you talking about the boy you have a crush on. They don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Um, I told my mom I did my homework, but I didn't. <laughs> Ma, I told my mom that I was calling so and so, but I was calling a boy. <laughs> I remember there was a couple times that I would talk to like a boy on the phone, right? And I'd be talking on the phone, and this was when it didn't have corded. This is when the phones you could take them off the hook, but they were cordless. Um, and I would start talking to them on the phone at like six or seven, but then it would get to be like nine or ten. Because remember, you would spend like hours on the phone with people it would get to be like nine or ten and then something would happen like maybe their phone would die or something would happen and then you would freak out because they couldn't call you because it was like 10 o'clock at night so you'd have to sit there and wait until the phone lit up so you could answer it before it rang if they called you back or I, you would be like, hey, call me tonight at 11 p.m., 11 p.m. sharp. So that way you could grab the phone. I'd like sneak downstairs and I'd grab the phone and I'd sit there and I'd watch it until the phone lit up and I'd answer it before it, before it rang. Yeah. Has your mom ever found out things like that because of stream stories? I, full transparency, I don't really think I did too much stuff that, I didn't ever tell my parents eventually I didn't really get into that much trouble and the stuff that I did do I've pretty much told them because I haven't done any I, di I didn't do anything when I was a kid that was like so bad that I wouldn't tell them now all the stuff that I did as a kid was like like funny stories now you know so I don't really think that there's any any stories that my parents don't know it's just because I haven't thought of them to tell them like, I'll think of it and I'll be like, oh, I forgot that I did that. But yeah, I remember not having um, it was just everyday stuff that we didn't know. Yeah. The stuff that my parents don't know is like little stuff that I just if I thought about it, I'd tell them. But I just didn't, you know, I remember not having a phone and friendship was based on trust that we'd all meet outside of Woolworths at 1 p.m. Right. I was I was thinking about this, this was like a while ago. I was like, what if you like meet somebody and then you never get contact information for them it's like then they're just gone you can't go like do sleuthing on like social media you know 
Did you know? Did you tell them about the Project X party you threw at their house? Yeah. Because <laughs> they probably let me. <laughs> then they just didn't exist. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about what I found in Sam's room one time? Why don't you tell me first before you tell strangers on the internet? Um, I used to always secretly pick up one of the phones and listen in on my mom's convos. She was dishing tea, and I think that's my streamer origin story. Pick up one of the phones and listen in on my mom's convos. What was what kind of tea was she dishing? Remember the last time you saw the streetlights go out and had to rush home? No, because I lived out in the country, so I couldn't walk anywhere. So I wasn't allowed to stay out past a certain amount of time because I couldn't get there unless I drove, which sucked because as a kid, until I could drive, um, until I could drive, I wasn't able to like stay out basically. Mostly about how we were struggling for money and now I'm asking strangers on the internet for bits. Yeah, perfect, right? I was told to come home when streetlights came on. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I would get so excited. It was so funny. I got so excited over like the little things because, um, I, I lived out in the country. We didn't have TV channels. We had like three TV channels lived out in the country. Um, and so I didn't get to do like, oh, I'm going to go walk down the street to so-and-so's house and we're going to play with scooters because we didn't have concrete. It was all like gravel roads. I couldn't walk down to so-and-so's house. Um, and I, so I would go over to somebody's house and my perfect day as a kid was watch SpongeBob and then go out and walk around the neighborhood and play with neighborhood kids, which for some of you was like every day. That was like the coolest day. Do you know what Misconnections is on Craigslist? Oh yeah. All my friends growing up lived on the same street as me. That's so fun. I, I like dreamt of that as a kid, as a kid, my one wish was like, because we moved a lot. And every time we moved, I would be like, can we move to a house in town? Can we move to a house in a neighborhood? Can we move to a house in a neighborhood? And we would always move to like a country home. But sometimes my parents would look at houses like in town and I would be like, please, 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 please get that place. Please get that place. Cause I want to have neighborhood kids. And then, and then we would live at a country house and I'd be like, oh, okay. Like it was cool to be able to run around in the woods, but I would get my hopes up. Cause I'd be like, oh, maybe, maybe we would live in the town. Maybe we'd live in town. Maybe. And you know, what's funny. If I would have verbalized that my parents might've even considered it, but I never would verbalize it. Cause as a kid, you don't really think about the stuff that you can say out loud. That's okay. Like if I would have said, Hey, can we live in a house that's closer so I can have friends? My parents probably would have been like, yeah, we'll think, you know, we'll take that into consideration. But as a kid, I was like, I wouldn't say that. It makes me sound stupid. We used to ride bikes with sidecars and one time we crashed into a rice field. Oh, no. I remember speed rewinding the tapes we rented before we went to Blockbuster's. You had to rewind them? We, like, didn't... We just turned them in. I thought that that was, like, their job, is they rewind them for you. They made, they made it... You do it yourself. Be kind, rewind. Oh, well. I was not kind. <laughs> you know, I always heard that saying, and I didn't actually realize what it meant. Now I know. Did you spit on the employees too? <laughs> yeah, I'm just supposed to do that. <laughs> some places would charge you if you didn't. Interesting. There was always like some teenage kid that would like sit in the back room and just like rewind all day. Just like sit there and rewind movies. What a crazy job. You know, it's funny if, if this in 2024, that would be an awesome job because I would just like listen to podcasts and stuff all day. Then that probably was a horrible job because you don't really have anything else to do at the same time. Like just you and your thoughts, just rewinding. I remember when I first lived in a townhouse around people my age and I used to go over to play games with my two brothers at the house. Long story short, they're both in jail now. Let's go. Um, 
Fanta, thank you so much for the uh, the two months. I appreciate it. Thank you. My dad used to copy library CDs and still music. I had a friend, which I still don't know how you do this, but I had a friend that he, one of his parents had a friend who would burn CDs, but um, games. So he had a binder, one of those CD binders that was full of Xbox games. So anytime a game would come out, he would uh, like get the game, like he would have it burned. Um, the friend that burned CDs was the goat. I know how to burn CDs. You know, you want to know how I learned how to burn CDs? I learned how to burn CDs because my dad got a MP3 player when I was in like high school and he wanted to take all of his CDs and he had a lot of them and put them on his MP3 player. And I didn't know how to do that, but I figured out that you could put a CD in the computer and then you could rip the CD and then you could take the ripped CDs and put them on your mp3 player it was not an ipod it wasn't a zune it was just a mp3 player like generic brand and then i learned from that how to put them onto cds so i roundabout learned how to burn cds from my dad paid me money it was so funny he had hundreds of cds and he paid me to sit at the computer and take of it his his cds and put it on the computer and then take another cd and each one took like five minutes so i had to like take a cd put it on wait take another cd put it on wait and it wouldn't automatically transfer the name and stuff so i had to type the name in so i had to take the cd put it in rip it look at the back of the cd type in the name and artist and then take all of those and put it into the mp3 which is just basically taking files and dragging them and dropping them took me days days but i did it i'd be a loser and put the genre in too i don't think i did because like i don't know if he would have known how to filter by genre but i don't think i did this built character low-key that's how i learned how to work <laughs> He paid me, so, I mean, shit, all right. Thought it was a magic. What the fuck do you mean? You could just take it off the disc and put it on another one? Yeah, it's like, what is, what is, what is the, what is the data? What, what is it? What is it? I still don't understand how CDs work. It's magic. There was a dude when I was growing up that would come around and sell the new movies and albums for like five bucks. That's awesome. Yeah, album art, right? My dad was all about pirating movies and he'd still buy them. So we had a basement shelves and it felt like so dirty. Like now it's like, obviously like pirating's like kind of shit, but like, I think pirating's kind of the like, eh. but like when I was a kid, like if somebody's parent like pirated movies, I'd be like, whoa, we're living. This is some mafia shit. Like, I don't even know if I feel safe here. Like, am I okay here? Should I? If I talk about this, am I going to get shot? Like, whoa. <laughs> like, I am working under some crazy things here. Your dad would probably download a car. I would download a car. If you could pirate cars, yeah, of course I would. <laughs> yeah. The warning before the DVDs are crazy. Let's just, let's just for the, for old time's sake. Oh, 
crazy claim to fame would to be like, yeah, it was the girl in the uh, the piracy is a crime video. Like, she's probably somewhere in the world. Probably got paid like ten bucks an hour to be in that. Probably made a total of like a hundred bucks, and is like in one of the most well known things of all time. And that girl now, Kamala Harris, running for president. Um, has anyone ever been arrested for that? Probably on like mass amounts. Like I bet there's like pirating operations, but for downloading like Shrek 2. Okay, well, whoopsies. I put that shit in my obituary. I would brag about it all the time. Yeah, distribution. If you're making money, I really genuinely don't think too many people care if you're downloading pirating movies, but if you're selling them and distributing them and making money off of it, that's when they get real. That's when they come down on you. One person got arrested for downloading 23 megabit, 23 MP3s. What? That uh, BTTV emote, by the way, is the entirety of the Shrek movie in one emote. Just so you know, if you're curious, it is, that is what that is. There's a bloke at a local market selling them and he got arrested a few years later. Selling it at a market is crazy. That's crazy. I got denied access to my university's network for two weeks because I pirated Sims 2 bathroom stuff. <laughs> That's crazy. It's kind of fucked when like, um when internet providers will cock block you from illegally downloading stuff it's like hey look away <laughs> you don't just look away like don't look at this the same for you plead the fifth our markets have ton of pirated cds from movie softwares even tv series what the hell around all the barbers with a bin bag pull of socks and pirated movies that's wild my jaw hurts for some reason. That's what Google DNS is for. Um, I got that website that we were talking about the other day with the necklace, the friend necklaces. Friend.com, my internet won't let me go to. It it flags it. I even turned the like thing off. Oh, now it lets me go to it. They must have fixed it. Yeah, it wouldn't let me go to friend.com. <laughs> no friends for me. <laughs> Absolutely none. I tried once downloading an HBO movie on Xfinity called My Stepdad Threatened to Cancel Our... Ser I thought that the movie was called My Stepdad Threatened to Cancel Our Service. It's like, what are you downloading? Um, this is what I imagine chatters be like when they type Shrek. I'm the fastest reader in the world. I read a 1,679 pages book within... Two seconds. Yes. Go on. Sometimes chatters will come in and they'll like put messages in my chat that are basically like they expect me to read it like that. It's like, no, nah, I ain't reading all that. No, I ain't doing that. Can we see the homepage? Let's see what we got today. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm on the same account. Hold on. Hello? Oh, we've got a uh, Teresa video. It's actually not that weird today. Weird Lit's official launch trailer. I don't know what that is. Squid Game Season 2. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh, RT Games played that. That's fun. Uh, this stream is all about Poncho. I get a lot of um, VOD channels because I think I have a VOD channel and I click on my own VOD channels. Like, I get a lot of VOD channels. We watched this. on anyway, it's Green Alien singing Just the Two of Us Full Edition. The Krill. Um... Risk of Rain 2, which I don't like Risk of Rain. 
Toy Story 5 official teaser trailer. What? shitty ass teaser is that are you, you giving us the three characters that we fucking expect to be in it okay oh i haven't seen this yet i want to watch this i've been seeing i've been seeing this on twitter with discourse but i haven't read any of it and I want to know what the... So, whistle while you work. Who is that? Whistle while you work. Magic mirror on the wall. Who's <gasps> the fairest? One of all. Gal Gadot's a weird choice for that. I don't know. What do we think? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I I think the only What live action Disney remakes have you guys genuinely liked? Because I thought that Maleficent was really good. I really liked Maleficent. Um, I didn't see Cinderella. When did Cinderella come out? I never saw that. Jungle Book. Jungle Book was actually pretty decent. Didn't see Beauty and the Beast. Um, mm, Cinderella. Yeah, a lot of you guys like Cinderella. Beauty and the Beast is good. That was uh, Emma Watson, right? Maybe I did see that. Maybe I did see that. Cinderella had Rob Stark. What, what the fuck? Why don't I not remember this at all? Cinderella movie. I don't remember this at all. Nine years ago? Guys, this is my Cinderella movie. Once upon a time, in a land called Los Angeles, there was a girl named Sam. Order's up! I'm gonna be level with you guys. I don't remember the details. Who lived with her wicked stepmother? There's something I've always wanted to tell you. I want you're a not hard very dog pretty, real and you're not very bright. <laughs> that's true. And her two that's Brody. That's <laughs> that's Brody speaking to me. Evil stepsisters. You You got mail. Ah uh, yes. Secret admirer beckons. One day, she got an invitation. I need to know who you are. Please meet me at the homecoming dance. To meet her Prince Charming. That one guy Prince that everybody thought was hot, tonight. but I can't remember his name. Fortunately, her fairy trio. godmother appeared. Let me deal with Mrs. Potato here. Go ahead, girlfriend. Call me girlfriend what was one his more time. Name? Okay, sorry. Chad Michael From Murray. From the Brothers yeah. Warner comes a fairy tale. Do you believe in love at first sight? I'll let you know. Let the rain That's not by the book. Okay, it's time to meet Cinderella! You are so dead! I'm Cinderella. I'm Cinderella. I am very upset about this. You don't look upset. It's the Botox. <laughs> I can't show emotion for another hour and a half. Hilary Duff, 
Chad Michael Murray. Thanks. A Cinderella story. I don't know if anybody has been the it girl as much as Hillary Duff has been the it girl. Um, she really, she's really it. She really was. Um, I miss Hillary Duff. She's just like momming right now, right? Like, I don't know if she's been, weren't they doing a reboot of, um, of Lizzie McGuire or something like that? She's the girl, yeah. She's how I met your mothering, yeah. She's mothering. I think I've seen that Botox line a hundred times. That didn't happen to my face when I got lip filler. I just, it looked like somebody punched me in the mouth. I recently saw a YouTube video of her doing a house tour. Oh, really? I loved Lizzie McGuire. I never watched it, but there was two girls that I went to school with that had Lizzie McGuire journals. And they wouldn't let anybody read their journals. But every day, like, they would be in class and they would be, like, writing in their Lizzie McGuire journals. And then I would, like, walk over and they'd be like... Sorry, I don't let anybody read my journal. And I was like, they're so cool. God. <laughs> and, and instead, they were just mean. <laughs> they were just mean. They were just bullies. Um, you know, it had the dumbest shit in it. it I, I would love to see. I would love to see. Did Teresa post today, guys? Nope, two days ago. Fuck. Damn it. That's the point of the journal, so it makes sense. Did you guys ever have a diary? Were you guys diary people? I tried, but I think that I've always had a hard time doing the same thing every day. So I would like write in my diary and then I would forget and then I would write in my diary like the next month and then I would forget. Like I would write like a whole page and then I would not do it. Cutie's diary is wild. A current diary? I ain't writing all that shit down. Yeah, no. I don't know. Did I miss scary time? No, you didn't. We've got lots of games to play. I have the password diary. No. I prefer to bottle it up. You know? I think Brody's my diary. I'll be like, okay, so hear this. <laughs> Get a load of this. And he'll be like, here we fucking go. Um, my memory was and still is crazy. It's fun to find an old diary. I have, in fact, I think it's still in my car. Um, I have every, so I'm not super nostalgic. Oh yes. Caitlin, will you send that to me? Or you already sent it to me. Never mind. I have it. Um, I'm not a nostalgic person too much anymore. I don't know what happened, but when I was younger, I used to be really nostalgic and I would save every note every drawing every award that i ever got and i have them all in a box because i would cover i had one wall of my bedroom that was covered and when i say covered i mean every inch like the whole wall was covered in you know somebody wrote me a note somebody drew a picture of me somebody uh i got an award in school i got a um land lanyard for something like the whole wall was covered um and i put it all in a box when we moved out of that house and then i never put it back up but i kept that box and it's currently in my car it's in the back seat of my car because my parents gave it to me and i need to bring it inside and like bust it out and like look at it i'll show you guys stuff i'll gather anything that i can that's not doxing and we can look at it but yeah i would save everything every like if I went on a school field trip, I would save the like flyer or pamphlet or something. I just was crazy. I still have my yearbooks too. I obviously it's very doxing, but I would I would definitely show you guys those if I could. Um, I always got a yearbook. Did they make you guys pay for yearbooks when you were in school? Because they made us pay for yearbooks and they were like not cheap. It was like 60 bucks. Which sucks because, like, I, I was, like, it would be really shitty to be, like, one of the kids that, like, can't afford to buy a yearbook because that's, like, something that you should get, 
I think that they should find funding for kids to get those. Or you know what would have been a great idea that I think that people would have done if they would have proposed it is a like check mark where it's like, hey, I want to buy my kid a yearbook. Hey, I want to pay money to buy another kid a yearbook. So that way, if anybody like wanted a yearbook, but maybe couldn't afford it, some because there's there was definitely some like rich kids whose parents would be like yeah okay here's here's you know a little bit of money somebody can get a yearbook because like i think of anything i took away from high school my yearbook maybe is like one of my favorite things you know dude they were so expensive they were so expensive sam for class president Uh um i got news for you (laughs) I got news for you. I was involved, all right? The school I went to, the kids who worked on the yearbook were the ones uh, paid for them. The kids who worked on the yearbook, they paid for the yearbooks for everybody? What? Sturgill, thank you so much for the two. Nobody dropping 100 bucks uh, for a kid that ain't theirs. Ah, you'd be surprised. I think you'd be surprised. Also, I think a lot of people are really willing to, like hire kids like for stupid like when i was in school and we did sports we would do like fundraisers to raise money for our sport and a lot of people will like pay money for kids to come do like shitty work so that the kids have money for stuff you know like i remember one of the parents owned a booth that would um sell ice cream or something at like fairs and she was like oh the kids can come work at the booth and the money that they make can go towards and we were terrible we were horrible. And, you know, it's like. I was on the phone and someone forgot to tell me. Tell you what, I bought my senior yearbook and it wasn't any of the photos because I didn't include. I wasn't in any yearbook photos either. I think that the yearbook kids just hated me or something because I it was every year like I would get the yearbook and you'd be flipping through hoping that you'd be in one. And I was never I was never in any of the photos. Maybe I just didn't know how to seek out the kids who had the cameras, but. I was never in any of them. Clear, cleaning out people's gar- garage and lawns. Oh, for sure. For sure. The football coach at my high school got arrested for stealing booster money and the kids raised. Oh, okay. Love that. Free PDF yearbooks. Can you docu sign my yearbook? I mean, now, right? Like, like now it would make sense for them to be like, okay, you pay X amount of money for a real yearbook. And if you can't pay, then we'll, we'll send you the PDF. It's a fucking high school yearbook. Like, like, come on. Just give the kids the photos. Our yearbooks were all right, but senior class put out senior class predictions on every senior and they were vicious. We had, um, so we had heartthrobs, which they ended up getting rid of because it was like toxic, but each class had heartthrobs. So it was like a couple of the guys and a couple of the girls And I remember like for my year, they got rid of the heartthrobs and everybody was like, oh man, like, and now as an adult, I'm like, yeah, no shit. They got rid of them. That's fucking weird. Like it's weird for the kids that get them and it's the weird for the kids that don't, you know? My senior quote got rejected and they didn't let me pick a new one. Mine, I think I remember what mine is. I think. Did everyone's yearbooks not have ads at the end? Yeah, ours did, I think. I got most fashionable student voted. Nice. Nice. Just gross. Like, who cares who the high schoolers think are hot? Yeah, I know, right? Um, I edited my senior year video and tried to get everyone. Cool kids got the least amount of my screen time. Good for you. I quoted Hugh Neutron from Jimmy Neutron for mine. What did you say? I think I said a Pokemon quote. I was fucking weird. My school tr- school tries to sell us those stupidly expensive class rings. Oh, or the like Letterman jackets. Yeah, I got voted Netflix binge watcher because I binged all of One Tree Hill senior year because the girl I was into loved it. That's such a specific uh, like category. What's like the what's like the most embarrassing thing you guys ever got into because your crush liked it? Mine was I said that The Longest Yard was my favorite movie and I had never seen it and I had to go to like a grocery store to buy it to watch it and I was like I love that movie. 
I literally can't even remember who the person was. The longest yard is hilarious. I think that they mentioned it once, so I made the longest yard like my whole personality. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Not, nothing that's sticking out. Minecraft, Vampire Diaries, Twilight. Tried to get into hentai because a girl I liked. Okay. I learned all the presidents to help her out. I watched all of Gilmore Girls in three days, but it was a good show, so not bad. You watch Gilmore Girls to impress somebody, but then they turn out shit and the show turns out good. I started Parks and Rec for the same reason. I tried to get into Supernatural. My ex was a pro dancer. She made me watch. So you think you can dance for for years? Super cringe. My favorite was my school doing an anti-bullying rally where you could buy $30 pink t-shirts that said don't bully to attend. All the poor kids couldn't go and it was like, hey, wanted to segregate the poor. Oh, that's a crazy, 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 terrible way to like have that event work. I got tricked with Twilight because the first book in the movie wasn't bad. I'm trying to think if there was anything. There was probably like music or something at some point or like... um. I'm sure that there's stupid stuff. Ghibli movies, she was toxic. Movies are great. I guess if you walk out of it with something, it's a win. I also watched most of the X-Files because my girlfriend liked it and we broke up and I kept watching. Good. Take it back. It's yours. I've been speedrunning Game of Thrones again and I forgot how good TV shows are. I'll tell anybody, if you watch Game of Thrones, watch it like through season seven and then stop and then go find your favorite reddit theory from like whenever the show ended and then just go with that and pretend that happened i went whitewater kayaking for a girl and concussed myself because it was my first time and i didn't want to admit it <laughs> that's crazy um I don't know if I ever did any like I think sports maybe was my 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 cutoff there it was like if I didn't want to do it I wouldn't season eight just ruined hours of good episodes I hung on for a really really long time with uh Game of Thrones and I uh we were watching season eight and I was like I don't know that wasn't really great and then the next one I was like I was trying to be positive and then the episode the dark episode where you I remember going into my bedroom to get the comforter off my bed to hang on the curtain rods so that I could see the episode and still not being able to see it that much at that moment I was like no nah, something's wrong yeah Penguin, thank you for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Why the fuck was it so dark? It's like, it wasn't even artsy dark. It was just dark. It was like, who made this? Sometimes I edit videos. Um, I have a editing tip, by the way, that I told uh, Alice recently that, um, or actually, I, I think I was streaming it on my alt. But um, anyways, so sometimes I'll edit videos and then I will transfer them to my phone because they're like a TikTok. And the audio will be really like the music will be too loud. And I'll be like, I don't understand why the music is too loud. When I made it, it sounded just fine. When you're editing a video. Always check and make sure that the sound on each audio track is mono because the speakers on your phone are different than the speakers in your headset. And so although you think that there's only one track of audio coming out sometimes it's not that way so make sure even if it sounds mono even if the sound isn't coming in left or right ear um make sure it's mono because then it will sound the same on your phone than it will in your headphones because sometimes that happens where it's like it'll be so different and i'll be like what the, why what happened I heard it looks way... So I think that that is what happened with the show, or they must have edited it on a certain monitor, and then they were like, oh, shit. Even though I know that's not what happened, because I'm sure that they watch it. I'm sure that they do a million things to prevent that. I heard it looks better on Blu-ray. Still. 
Apparently, like watching UFC and MMA fights for my ex, I don't miss it. You can also change the track to mono and post. Right. Yeah, it just makes it better. Makes it much better. Um, I want to show you guys this before we start games because I was telling you about this last stream and then I couldn't find it, but Caitlin found it. So do you guys remember when I was talking about planes and I was talking about that person that made the thread about um, the airplane crash and they were kind of describing like what they think happened? Um, I found or Caitlin found the, the thread and I, I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's really long, but I'll read some of it, which it's really interesting because if I understand this, then some of you guys will for sure because I'm dumb. So. Um. So if you don't know, there was a plane that uh, went down in Brazil, I think, and it, it was weird because it just dropped out of the sky like this. It didn't like go down like that. And so this person says, uh, regarding the airplane crash earlier, I'm quite shaken by the footage because of the specifics of this crash. I have been mulling through it and I thought it might be worth running you through what I see, not as a commercial airline pilot, but as someone knowing how to fly. Uh, based on this, it's Rami is who is this person? Is it somebody you guys know? Um, based on the video, the airplane is in a flat spin. It's plummeting straight down wings level while spinning. The type of spin that the airplane is in is one of the things we basically get taught as a story from the very start of flight training because it's, uh, terrifying. He's a very popular indie dev and dev consultant. Oh. A flat spin is a very specific condition for the airplane to be in, so getting into one is pretty catastrophic. Even with training, it can not always be recovered quickly, let alone at all. Flat spins often end only on impact. That is part of their terror. So how do they happen? Airplanes fly because there's air over the wing. The wings are shaped as such that a pressure differential um, develops as air molecules past the wing primarily move under the wing, pushing the airplane into its lower pressure area above the wing. That's called lift. What is important for lift is that there's enough air molecules, which is why airplanes have to move forward. The speed the airplanes move through, the speed the airplanes move through the air is called the airspeed and is usually reported in knots nautical miles per hour in short airspeed is life it's important to note that the speed through the air is not the same as the speed over the ground the airplane could be moving 60 knots through the air but barely moving over the ground i've always wondered why they always report it in knots and i didn't think about the like the concept of you could be moving a certain speed but you're not moving that same speed off the ground you know what i mean um, if airspeed gets too slow, the lift disconnects from the wings. This is called a stall, and effectively what will happen is the wings will stop flying. The plane will dip forward to the ground and start diving. It feels a bit like a roller coaster at its apex, but shallower. Stalls are not inherently dangerous if you have altitude. A dive generates airspeed, and airspeed helps you recover from a stall. Basically, you can always trade altitude for airspeed, and airspeed for altitude. Even without an engine, you can glide down to Earth. So yeah, if you start to stall, you just like tip forward and then you can start going down and then you can use that, uh, that drop of altitude to turn into like airspeed. Most airplanes are equipped with stall warnings from complex digital systems to clever physical contraptions with loud horns. When you hear the stall horn, it means the stall is imminent and your solution is simple. Take a dive. If you don't, the stall fully develops. If the stall develops, the plane will dive on its own. If you align your control surfaces with the dive caused by the stall, that ensures the airflow is resorted. The airflow is restored as you gain speed from the dive. You push forward, you dive into the stall to prevent or fix a stall, you dive. If you follow your reflexes, pull upwards, you get a much more dangerous situation. As the airplane's nose comes up, the airplane's body and wings effectively start causing drag onto the airflow direction. The forward momentum decreases and the downward speed increases. You drop like a brick. We don't want that. So from pretty much the first dozen hours of flight training, we train stalls. We train stalls relentlessly. You get pavloved into pushing on the yoke or stick when you hear that horn. The second issue is that the controls of an airplane use that airflow to maneuver the plane too. We basically stick surfaces like ailerons, uh, elevator and rudder into the air to steer. This is kind of where I started to like, my brain started to like pull away. But basically like, if you read the whole thing, he like talks about how um, 
the thing that the plane did in that video is like uh, it many many things have to go wrong for it to get to that point and so it's weird but it made me feel better as a person that goes in planes it made me feel better because you read about how hard it is for a plane to go down i guess like you read about how badly planes want to be in the air there's an ice buildup on the left wing. A couple of planes that landed in that day reported about that ice buildup. Yeah, he talks about that too a bit. Um, good to know as I'm flying soon. Yeah, if you go on planes, like the only thing you need to know is like planes don't want to fall out of the sky. Gravity is like the only thing that wants to get it out of the sky, but everything else on a plane wants to keep it in the air. So you're not like fighting against a bunch of forces. Plane And planes have many, many devices to prevent things from happening like like if both of the engines fall off of a plane while you're in the air you could probably still coast down to the ground safely because of how the plane is designed to stay in the air um i'm at the airport right now yeah i'll be fine yeah i'll be fine don't you have like one more oh i guess today's sunday huh I have thought that it's like a day forward for the last like three days. Like today, all day, I thought it was Monday. Also, random question that most of you will not know the answer to. Do I have anything going on tomorrow? Because I have been feeling all day and all day yesterday that I have something Monday and I can't remember what that is. And I, it might be nothing. We have Minecraft Monday. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's Minecraft Monday. I think that that must be what it is, but there's not like some like collab I'm doing or something, right? You set yourself up for this. I even have a Google cal calendar that I religiously use. So the fact that I don't have anything on there, I just was like, what is it? And I think it's Minecraft Monday, but I didn't write it down. I don't know. Jay Sass, thank you for the two. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cutie got you paranoid? Maybe. Talk on Monday. I think um I think that it's Minecraft Monday and I think that I just got like in my head and I just thought that there was something more, but yeah, I don't know. Mags, thank you for the prime. Are you supposed to play softball with uh, Caroline tomorrow? No, she wouldn't play she was like, Hey, do you want to play softball with me? And then you know what she said? She wouldn't play softball yesterday. And she was like, yeah, guess who was there? And I was like, who? And then she told me and I was like, isn't he from this movie? And she was like, yep. And I was like, I hope you had a really great time. I hope you had the best time ever. I was awesome. Forget something you'll find out tomorrow. I mean, somebody will say, hey, we had whatever tomorrow. And I'll be like, I just hope it's not like a social thing. I don't know. Glip Glorp. Thank you for the brand new sub. My jaw has been hurting for the past, like, three days. I don't know. Maybe it's from talking. Um, I did this thing. I've been doing this for years. And what I do is, like, when I'm standing, I'll take my right foot and I put it on my left knee, the front of my left knee, like a flamingo. And I'll, like, push a little bit and my left knee will pop. And I've been doing that for years and it's usually like when I'm just standing, I'll kind of feel like my knee has to pop. So I'll put my foot on it and I'll just kind of like push and like my knee will just pop. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but I've been doing that for years and I did it the other day and it did not go well. And I, my knee has been hurting really bad. <laughs> I'm hoping I didn't fuck anything up. If it did, it'd, it'd be one of those, like, you do a very small movement and it doesn't really hurt that bad, but it causes a lot of issues. I'm getting to the point where things hurt. I think I'm getting old. I'm hurting myself. <laughs> Scary time? Okay, do your scariest face. Also, hi. Um, Taxes. What do you think about that? There aren't enough scary games about taxes. Dude, I just talked about planes for like ever. You may have dislocated it for a second. Yeah. Guess I'll just die. What can I say? Um, 
Okay, I'm looking at scary games that are on the top charts. Oh, there's a bunch of them that I pulled on Steam. Um, okay, these are all games that I, I pulled up on Steam. They're not on Itch. So there's this one. It's called The Bathhouse. These are new and nobody's played them. So it's a, it's a real risk. This one's called Homeless. This one's called Let Me Out. Looks kind of weird. This one's called Chuxy, but it, okay, this one looks weird. I, I want to watch the trailer. I, <laughs> I don't get this one. It looks so goopy. <laughs> I don't have any idea what it is. <laughs> but the picture, the pictures on it are like this. Like, I can't full screen them. Oh, there we can. Like, the pictures are like so, it's like Silent Hill, but then that, but then that guy, but then like a watermelon, but then that thing, but then it goes from like actually scary to an egg. I just, I have no idea what this game is. I have no concept. It just looks like they took all of the assets that they could find on... I don't know. This is so wild. You have to play it. It could be shit. It could be wild. I just went on Steam and I looked at games that just came out. So I am getting no vouchers on these games. Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. I mean, yeah, it could be terrible. I also have um, a couple games that we didn't play last night or the other night because we played games with Caroline. Caroline and Cutie to Ben Howard last night. <laughs> I can't believe that Caroline took a picture with Flash and then me and Cutie roasted her for it and then Cutie did it. I actually went to a concert with like two like 87 year old women. I can't take them anywhere. Insane. Absolutely insane. Um, I want to play this game. It's called Amanda's Movie Night. It's on itch. Voices in the dark. Ooh. Entertainment. Okay, intro. Stop it. Stop. Hello. two volumes on and off okay this game is called Amanda's movie night Ugh. oh damn what a week it's gonna feel so good to just relax and watch one of my old favorite movies I can't start the show just yet gotta prepare a few things first I gotta prepare some snacks Prepare some snacks. Start the microwave and place the popcorn on the tray. Hold on, I'm going to um, switch the... I'm going to switch it to the game capture so the game runs better because I learned that if you do that, then it uh, it's better. Okay. Start the microwave and place the popcorn on the tray. Put the lotion on the skin. Grab the soda from the fridge and place it on the tray. Place the tray on the table in the living room. Start the microwave and place the popcorn on the tray. I don't really think that's the order that I'm supposed to do it in, but we'll take it. Why are there so many little fuzzies in my house? Why do I have a random, but what is the things that I have around here? 
I have little floaties and then just uh, just bowling pins. Why did you say skin like that? Skin? Put the lotion on the skin. Okay, open the microwave. Start the microwave and place the popcorn on the tray. Oh, okay. Where's the tray? It's really bright in here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I have the tray here. Huh. Do you think that I can get a bowling a strike or whatever? Wait. Oh, no, I can't pick it up. No, I can pick it up. Wait, I have to grab it just on the corner. Do you think I can get a strike? Wait, I can bowl. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh. Saz, thank you for the prime. I gotta put this over there for later. Mini game unlocked. Okay, ready? What are these bowling pins made out of? Lead? Jesus! It's like the tiniest bowling ball. I think that the, uh, I think that the tray did better work. Okay, I'm gonna put this... Put the tray... Here. Put the popcorn... On the tray. And then, now... <laughs> I don't really think that that's how that works, but... Who- I'm not Einstein, I didn't invent gravity. Whatever. Okay, put that there. Oh, no, okay. Um, I don't think it's hot enough. We gotta just roast it a little bit longer, don't you think? Okay, put it on there. There we go. Grab soda from the fridge and place it on the tray. Oh, well, you could have told me that before I took the tray over there. Cooking up some hot gravity. Okay, you say soda, I say a bottle of amber ale and a banana. What do you think? Do you think I can make it? Surely. I can't grab another one? Alright, I'm just gonna fuck myself. Why are we keeping beer in the freezer? Yeah, that is a little bit weird. Can't have a movie night without popcorn. <sighs> Poor blanket. I'll check the hallway closet. Sure will. Why does everything in that room look like it's tipping? Guys, I have to do something. It's not moody enough in this room. Do you agree? It's a little bit bright. It's a little bit bright. And how could I possibly see with it being this bright? Turn this down a little bit. Okay. There we go. I know that doesn't look a whole lot different to you, but... It darker in here, I promise. Way too bright. Way too bright. Okay, search the closet. Oh! Oh, that's right. The blankets are in the dryer. Oh. Cozy spoopy vibes. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. Okay, they're in the dryer. Does this look like it's tipping? Why does that look angled? Amanda, get your shit together. Do I have a flashlight or something? Why do I keep my house like this? What's the, like, crackling going on in my head? Bugs in my ears? Okay, they're in the dryer. If you had a washer dryer in a old mansion, where would the washer dryer be? Where you keep all of the lights off. Probably down in the basement. What is this? It's definitely a key- a key item. 
I love that we keep getting to the end of the MP3 track that the uh, the stagnant audio is on, so then it just takes a moment to restart the track. Place blankets on couch. Hold on, I have to turn this bitch down a little bit because it's a little bit, um... Let's do, uh... Let's do this a little bit. It's a it's a little it's a little maxed out. Maybe that'll be better. We have no basements in California. That's true, we don't. Okay, there's a blanket. Oh, perfect. Yep, I'll just pick all of these up. Don't mind me. Oh, Jesus. What was that? Creepy little guy! I didn't leave my front door open! I thought I locked it! The hell? I won't be able to relax until I know all openings are locked. Ooh. Okay, put those right there. I didn't let go of them, but pop off. Is there something out here? Okay, close the door. He's inside now. They're inside the house. I don't lock it? Okay. She does have the TikTok accent. Oh, I have to lock my windows. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's a uh, huge handprint! Is, is that a handprint? Who could have left that? Nah, it's gotta be one of those damn teens again. Think I don't think the really teens' hands nice? are that big. <laughs> no way. I earned this. They're gonna have to try harder than that. Those are- that's big ass hands. Uh, Dex, thank you for the brand new sub. Possibly contagious. Okay, did I lock this? Lock it. There we go. Lock that one. Lock this one. And lock... the last window, which I'm assuming is upstairs. Damn, teenagers. Getting all over my shit. Okay, that's the last one, but I didn't see any signs of someone breaking in. Literally, the door was wide open. I hate when the wind blows that door open. Gave me such a scare. <laughs> oh, oh, this is too much. It's just the wind. I need to go sit down on the couch. <laughs> the voice acting is like really dramatic. <laughs> She's like, I don't really see anything weird other than the front door opened. I saw a guy run past the top of my stairs and there's a handprint on the window. But like, I, you know what? I must just be, I'm PMSing. It must just the be. Gone. How was that possible? It was pirated. They took it back. Where could it be? I don't know where it could be. Where could it be? Where could it be? No, that's the bowling ball. Me rationalizing to avoid dealing with problems? Yeah. In the bathtub? No. There's really no... I can't read any of this? What does this say? Amanda, see you soon from Cole. There's... This is like the most boring... This is like the most boring postcard ever. It's just white on the other side. Where the fuck is coal in a snowstorm in Florida? Okay. Fuck you, coal. Some boring ass postcards. Okay, where is this missing movie? You guys ever get snowstorms in Florida? Any Floridians around here? Oh wait, this door wasn't open before. There's the movie. <laughs> what happened to my body? Just a nightmare. What? Oh, thank God. Whoa! Hey! Calm down. Calm down. Huh? Don't freak out. What do you mean? Don't... Stop it! Uh, human. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. What do you mean? 
mean? I just want to talk. Please, don't mess with me like this. Just leave me alone. Don't worry. I won't be coming back. What? I won't be bothering you or anyone. Never again. Wait. You're really just going to leave? What is going on? Just like that? Yeah. Normally I do all kinds of scary stuff. <laughs> what is open this? Windows, open doors, <gasps> I know, he just wanted to be my friend. Why do you why do you scare me and drag me around? But I I'm just going through some mental stuff right now. <laughs> oh so, um, Okay, he's trauma dumping. I just I can't do this anymore. Oh, he's trauma dumping. This is awkward. What? Oh, this is weird. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of being seen as a monster. You can't just say I'm sorry. Or not, I've tried to be friendly. Tried being myself. Tried to show others that I'm not just a beast. He's so real for that. But all anyone sees is a big scary creature that they scream at. So I became what people saw me as. Something to be feared. Okay, he's monologuing. Something to be hated. Can I just eat this popcorn? Can I? Something that deserves. Do you to want be anything? Alone. Do you want something from the fridge? I didn't ask to be this way, you know. I have ale. The people of this world have shown me. Three no bananas. I will always be seen. Three carrots. As a Two sodas left. So maybe it's best if the world never sees me again. Okay, Sorry drama to queen. This at you. you didn't ask. Drama. No one does. I'll leave you be. <laughs> Did he just break into my house to trauma dump and now he's leaving? Brother. Take your squishy ass hey. elsewhere. You want to stay? Watch a movie with me? Really? Yeah. I could use the company. Do you like romantic comedies? I've never seen a movie before. But I do like romantic stories. Okay. Well, have a seat. Can I get you anything? <laughs> Water? Cocoa? Cocoa would be lovely. How are you going to drink it? Am I going to... Am uh, I... Are we about to... Okay. Heat up the cocoa in the microwave and place it on the coffee table. Oh! Jesus! You didn't have to come up and behind me and scared me like that. You scared me. Would you like anything from the fridge? <laughs> Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me... Oops, Here, I dropped your coffee. You up. Here you go. This is wonderful. It's much better than what I normally drink. And what's that? River water? Human blood. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. You. Okay. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. <laughs> That's weird. All right. You got me. Are you proud of yourself for that one? Bro is funny. <laughs> he has jokes. So what do I call you? Do you have a name? It's like you can call me. Live for. And I'll be I'll be screaming it <laughs> all night long. Uh, Harold? <laughs> What's wrong with Harold? Uh nothing. You just don't look like a Harold. Harry? But it's a fine name for you. Harry. My name's Amanda. It's a pleasure to meet you, Amanda. Thank you for being so kind to me. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for not killing me. No, not Harold screaming the first thing. The thing before that. So if you aren't going to scare people anymore, what will you do? I had a dream once. But it'll never happen. Not for something like me. Okay. 
now you have to tell me about this dream. No, it's dumb. Hey, dreams are dumb, including yours. Tell me. Okay. He's like, I want a big, a laugh. big booty goth girlfriend. I won't. I, I want to be a pizza delivery guy. Okay. What? You said you wouldn't laugh. Oh, I'm a dickhead. I, I, I'm not laughing. I'm just very surprised at your dream. Why do you want to deliver pizza? I've stalked many neighborhoods <laughs> in my life. Sometimes I see a pizza guy going up to the houses. And I see the faces of the people who open the doors. He just wants to give the people what they, they want. I'm so happy to see him. It's true, nobody's sad to see the pizza guy. Just once. I'd like to know how it feels to have someone excited oh. to see you. Well, Harold. I'll be excited to see you for our next movie night. Really? We haven't yeah. even done one this yet. This is the most interesting movie night. We haven't even life. watched the movie, we Amanda. We haven't the movie yet. Oh. Thank you, Amanda. Anytime. Now let's just enjoy the show. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, you gonna sit down, weirdo? I'm sitting ha halfway clipped into the armrest. Sit your bony ass down! What?! What do you mean that's it?! You can't leave me on a cliffhanger like that! I th I was hooked! I was hooked onto the plot! There was no plot! Did you want to see them fuck? I just- I just wanted to know if it went there! I just wanted to know! Good game. It ended kind of quickly, but... That was a good one! Sandwich wiggle. That was a good one! I'll take it! We've had some winners! Pretty wholesome. F, thank you for the seven. I will say, who was surprised at the pivot? Because I was very surprised at the pivot. I did not expect it to go that way. We need a part two. I know. Is there any other games made by this person? I wish that it showed them in order. They made these games, which I think I've, um, I've seen before. Lancaster leak. Yeah. Hello, Raiders. Welcome in. What's up? How was stream? Seems another tape has been leaked as FBI intern Valerie Bardot is still missing. To prove a point, the leakers have upped the ante. So it's like security footage game. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Hmm. The House Sitters Five Nights. I can't. I wish that they had like the years that they were made, so you can kind of like organize them by that. I got up to pee and missed the entire game, except me making popcorn and sitting on the couch of the monster. Um, I think that that was the entire game. That was the entire game. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress about it. Okay, this game's called Human Farm. So... You know. <laughs> it has a gun in it though, which I'm not opposed to guns. <laughs> Sorry, this makes it sound like I don't care about guns in games. I don't like scary games with combat. Um... I feel like games get less scary when they have combat in them. Do you know, do you see what I mean? As soon as you add an element where I have to try to like kill something, then it makes it less scary.
looking at the top games egg bread rice we played but all these lancaster league crisis at call center is is there human farm is there do your homework the pizza guy we played so many of the top ones liminal leap neighbors next door Mm. Hopper's Hotel? Wrong floor? Fears to Fathom is coming out with another game, by the way. Did we ever play... Yeah, we did play that. One of the Fears to Fathom games. That's why Outlast is so scary. Yeah, because I think it's the concept of like as soon as you get to see something scary like up close and personal to the point where you have to do combat with it, it just doesn't scare anymore. It doesn't scare me. I don't know. Maybe I'm by myself in that, but it's a game where everyone around you has guns you can't be sure if they're every type of person who might shoot you or not and you just have to live like that. Are you referring to any game in particular? Um, what is this game? Will Witching Hours ever come back? I mean, I don't want to say never. I don't want to say never, but it is not something that is on my radar of things that I want to necessarily bring back right now. And I don't have the bandwidth to do a podcast on my own we can do we can do this game though fuck it we're doing human farm we did home safety hop or hotline that was really good human farm <laughs> It's cutting off some of the game. Oh, it's not. Okay. The squishing is really something. Oh. Okay. Am I in a butthole? Where am I? Ew, is that a butthole? Am I a poop? I'm trying to make my way downtown, but I'm moving slow. I can only move at a snail's pace. Why are you going back in? I thought that's what we were supposed to do. Am I supposed to go the other way? Oh God. Okay, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving the butthole. Enter the hole. I thought that we just e e exit. Okay, sure. I am a cheesy gordita crunch. Oh. That's... okay. Can I stand up? Oh! Going down! Down into the ground! Here I come! And here I go! This is what happens when you poop. This is where they take it. This is where the sewers go. We're being flushed. I can't move. Oh! Is that... Am I... Oh! Okay. Is that what I look like? Where's my body? Do I get one of those? Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Was I birthed? And why are my eyes VHS? What are these? Flesh rings? That looks irresistible! I'm ravenous! I need to eat a lot! Do you want to eat donuts? Uh, sure. Okay. 
I hate the VHS. What's, am I out? Am I free? I'm very glidey with my walking. I want to help everybody. Am I fr- Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Oh, there's a keypad here. What's the code? I don't have a code and I can't type it in. Okay. Is that blood or poo in the walls? That's the question that everybody's been asking. Uh... Two, three, four. Boob. Oh, shit. Boob. 420. 6969. God damn it. Oh, wait. What's my code? Oh, I can't see. Was it 66? Six? It was something 66. 6666? Six, 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 six? My mine was 666? Six, six, six? Wait, what's in here? How do I interact with something? It's too dark here. It's too dark here. Okay, I can't be in here. I guess I can't feel around. What is that? 701? They're saying. Come back alive. 701. Six. Six seven. Six 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 is mine. Wait, so what would the code be? Is it six 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 maybe? Where would the code be? 6666? Six, 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 six? Maybe. It's just three, three though. It's four digits. Yeah, it's four digits. I can't see what's in there. 667. Six, it's gotta be on these. 66701. Six, six. How do we know it's four? I think that's all you can type in. Oh, 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 wait, I can go in here. Oh, flashlight. All right, here we go. You find a flashlight on the ground. This flashlight will help you see what's in the dark rooms. Yep, that's usually what they do. Do you want to pick up the flashlight? Yes, of course I do. Oh, oh, 669, nice. Anything on the roof? Just a lot of blood. There is blood literally pouring from the walls. Yeah, thanks for explaining flashlights. Appreciate it. Oh, so now I can go in these rooms. Is there any codes written anywhere? I hate how this flashlight maneuvers. What's in this room? A gun! You found a weapon on the ground. With this weapon, I can protect myself from those the creatures. Do you want to pick up the weapon? Uh, yeah, I do. Of course I do. So I have a gun and I have a weapon. Well, okay. That's, sorry. That's r repetitive. Can I shoot the walls apart? I'm looking for a code though. Now I can do the Olympics. That's so loud. There's gotta be a code in one of these rooms for sure. Like written somewhere? Okay. Anything in this room that looks like a code? I don't see anything that looks like a code. Oh, there's a piece of paper. They are monsters breeding humans to eat and use as energy. There's only like three doors. I don't understand why it's been like so complicated for me to find simple things. Um, I am close to deciphering the phrases I overheard from one of them. Today I will escape this hell. 
There is something they always say. The guardians of the doors know the secret. Their numbers are strange, but the pattern is clear. Sum their stories and double their glory. It will reveal the path you seek to tread. Sum their stories and double their glory. So I have to, I have to add, I have to add the numbers on the doors. These ones I can't see. Oh, I can see. Do I have to add all of these numbers? If this is right, I'm gonna scream. Okay. 700 plus plus 669 no plus this is going to give me bigger than a 668 plus 701 plus 702 plus. Did I already do 667? Did I do 667? I already forgot. No. 667 plus 666 equals, and then times 2? 9546. I just shot it? Stop shooting! I'm just typing! Okay, that wasn't right. Are these guys dead? Where could this track possibly take them? There's no... What does this mean? What's a strange machine? What a strange machine. I believe this machine should open the locked door. Do you want to press the button? Yeah. Okay. What locked door? Oh. Dude, those doors opening and closing is like a horrendous noise. Ah! I don't know how many shots it takes because they don't really do anything when I shoot them. They just kind of do that. And I only have nine bullets left. And there's more of them. I don't know how many shots. This is horrible. Oh my god. What in the absolute fuck was that? And my mouse is gone. I can't even exit out of it. What in the absolute fuck was that? I got birthed out of an asshole into a horror chamber where I had to do math and then I had a shitty gun. What in the fuck was that? Math was the worst part of that. HIO is so bad with like 
searching. Like, I tried to search this game you just sent me on the app, and it was like, no. Okay, well, thank you, next. This one's called John's Dog. It debunked the theory that guns equal not scary. I'm telling you guys, when they add guns to games, they make them less scary. Play. Play. P play. Okay. Why is my mouse out? Ayo. <laughs> you got anything to drink? No. But I can go buy something from the store if you take care of Myra. Who? Myra. My new dog. When did you even get her? Yesterday. She was just walking around my house and didn't want to leave. Weird. Nah, I'm happy she didn't leave. I've always wanted a dog. Okay, I will be going now. Take care of her and the house. And don't let Myra destroy the couch. It's new. Yeah, it's a really nice couch. God, God forbid. What? Stop! What? Hey! Put that back! What? <laughs> Did this fucker just fuck off to- Don't eat that! Stop! What are you doing? Hey! Don't eat the curtains! Stop! Don't! This is the worst dog! Stop doing that! Stop! Stop! You're destroying the house! Stop it! Is this just a- is this just a- is this just a game about- s Dude, you're destroying everything! Put this back! How do I put the couch back? Okay, that- stop! Stop! Stop it! Dude, give me- <laughs> Stop! With the curtains! This is the dog from hell! Stop! I'm gonna take you back to the farm! Don't! Stop! Oh my god, it's just running rampant! Stop! Hey! Don't! No! Don't! Stop it! Hey! Don't! <laughs> this is horrible! I just have to spam Q on the dog while he's doing exactly what I don't want him to! Stop! Get away from the couch! I Stop it! Stop! Down! Stop! 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 Stop it! I will- I'll call the farmers. We'll take you back to the farm. I'll do it. I'll do it. How long is John gonna be gone at the store? This is a horrible, horrible dog. Stop it. Stop. 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 What? It's not stopping. Caitlin, what is this game? Put the couch down. No, put the couch down. John, I'm gonna have to kill your dog. I can't- I'm sorry. It's- it's not- the dog- this is the worst dog. Can I just put it in like a headlock or something? Just stop it. Give it like some- This is crazy. This is a hor- I'm- I'm also having to spam Q. Stop that. Stop it. Stop. Hey. John, please come back. Is, is it gonna make me go in any other parts of the house or just purely this part? This is- is this go forever? How long does it go for? I have stamina? What happens if I let the house get destroyed? Don't. The couch is important. You can- you can get rid of the curtains. You have to fill the bar to the left. <sighs> I- 
I'm yelling at him, but he's still doing it. Yeah, John only said the couch. He didn't say anything about the curtains. He's still destroying it. Stop. Let me have this. I have to go find John. No, fuck this. Where's a gun? There's got to be a gun in the house somewhere. There's got to be something. I... Ain't no way. Ain't no way that I run around and press Q the whole game. There's absolutely no way. There's got to be a secret ending. Hello? Uh, huh? Uh, Weird. <laughs> what the absolute fuck was that? I got the good ending? It said there's three. I'm not playing other endings. Ain't no way. No way. What's this one? This is made by that same developer as that, that monster fucking movie or game. Seems another tape has been leaked as FBI intern Valerie Bardot is still missing. This looks weird. Looks cool. Might be. I have like, um, it's not heartburn, but it feels like cold. You ever get like cold feeling in your diagram, diagram, diaphragm? You know what I mean? Hold on, I want to filter by horror. I don't know what the difference between popular and new and popular. The Slasher, Camp Massacre. Liminal Leap, A Descent into the Unfamiliar, Running Through the Backrooms, The Pizza Guy, The Lost Apartment Demo, Room 202, Horror Prototype, Under, Inside, Under, and Out. You're an employee at a quiet convenience store working the late night shift. Is that heartburn? When you have the, like, right, it's like here, you kind of feel like it's like cold in there. We played Pizza Game. Pizza Game was definitely a game. We have played fried eggs. We did play that one too. It was certainly a game. The game of all time. Egg fried rice. Yeah. I've played Jim or Jail. Jim or Jail is one of the first HIO games we ever played. One of the games that really got us locked in. This one's called Do Your Homework. Heartburn can feel cold. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. It just, it's like kind of uncomfortable. I ate a bunch of white rice. I don't know. Play Slenderman. There's a game called, um, Siren Head. Do your homework. I love white rice. Loading scene. Loading scene. Oh. I want to eat. There is a plate of pasta in my empty fridge that I cooked two days ago. Alright. It's 2346. I guess I'll go get some pasta. Dude, how good does like... Pasta, like the curly kind, with like a little bit of pesto and like a bunch of like, 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 uh, what do you call it? Anti pasta or whatever? When it's got all the like Greek shit in it. <sighs> I, oh, that sounds crazy right now. Anti pasto? Yeah. Dude, that sounds great. Okay, I need to go to my kitchen. Why is the dining room- oh, that's the living room. Okay, I love antipasta. I don't know why it's called that. Can I microwave it? 
Oh, get out of the fridge. Oh, I gotta get out of the fridge. Where's the fridge? Here's the fridge. Okay, the two food groups. Coca-Cola and a pile of pasta, which I'm pretty sure is just mac and cheese. Dude, pasta sounds good, actually. I might make some pasta tomorrow. Oh, somebody remind me to make pasta tomorrow. Yummy! Click right mouse button to eat. I'm just standing here eating it. I have like a table. I have so many places that I could eat this. But I've just got the eating loading bar. Okay. Sure. I need to do my homework before my parents come home. The notebook is already on the table. All right, let's do it. Oh, I've got a Coke in here too, great. Part zero of one. Click left mouse button to do homework. Oh, it's a clicking game. Okay, I'm clicking. Sorry, seven, zero of seven. I'm clicking. This doesn't seem too difficult. Just clicking around. Okay. The first part is ready. There are seven parts left, but I want to sleep. Okay. Get get out then go sleep. I'm not I don't wanna do I'm doing part one all over again? Yeah, this is just click holding, but it's homework instead of getting off. Which is like really, really shitty. part two. I'm very tired today. Oh, so I can choose to do... I need to sleep for a couple of hours and continue doing my homework. Okay. I did part zero. Okay. Okay, bedtime. I need to turn off the light in my room. Okay. Dude, last night I went to bed. So I was sitting here at my desk and I got really, really tired. Like all of a sudden it just hit me like this. I went over to my kitchen. I put two toaster strudels into the toaster, went to lay on my bed to wait for them to be done, fell asleep, <sniffs> passed out. I woke up like three hours later with all my clothes on, no makeup washed off, nothing. And I was like, holy shit, my toaster strudels. So I got out of bed and I went into the kitchen and they were cold. So I put them back into the toaster, toasted them, and then I ate them. And then I went back to sleep. <laughs> and then I slept the rest of the night. I was like, I cannot be fucked to wash my face or change out of my clothes, but I will eat those toaster strudels. God help me. Okay, light off. How do I turn? Oh, okay. Can I turn? How do I turn the lights off? Oh, over here. Weed? I wasn't even high. I was just kind of tired. I got home from the concert and I, I must have been eepy. So my desk light stays on. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of fucking sense. No, I almost went back and laid in bed, but I was like, no, I can't do this again. Sleepy time. Sleeping. What concert? Ben Howard. Ben Howard and it was pretty good but he didn't play like he only played one song he played one of my favorite songs but then he didn't play any of the other songs I liked toaster strudels are the best they've made them smaller though okay I'm awake now <gasps> Did I just go back to sleep? Oh god. It was sleep paralysis. Oh god. 
Okay, I need to finish my homework. Hell yeah, I do. Click time. I hate clicking like this. It grosses me out. Uh, I will always remember the figure that stood in my doorway. Okay, hey, just do your homework. Oh, weirdo. Nice. Part three. I feel like someone is watching me. Oh, thank God. It seemed it's time to continue. Okay. You conquer sleep paralysis by making fun of your monster or telling them that they owe you money. Give me my fucking money! It seemed. This would be a fun game to speedrun. Look at this clicking power. You guys have never seen shit like this in your life. There are 20 minutes left before the parents come home. Oh, so they were my parents and now they're just the parents. Got it. I do part four? All right, sure, why not? Oh! Bottle? I remember. My father is very strict. That's why there's no door in my room. Oh, okay, that's fucked up. My parents never took my door off my bedroom. But one time I told them that I wanted one of those, like, beaded doors, you know, the, where it's the beads. And I was like, I want those instead of a door. And they were like, okay. So then they let me have it. And then I was like, wait, I've realized the implications is that now I have no door. So I had them put the door back on. I feel uncomfortable again. Oh! I won't sleep anymore. These silhouettes that I see make me shudder. Time to do more math, though. God forbid that there's a home intruder. We must get the Pythagorean theorem solved. I haven't had sleep paralysis since I was 12 years old. But it happened today. And it happened because of homework. This is why you shouldn't make your kids do homework. There's only one part left. All right, let's do it. Don't make your kids do homework. It'll give them sleep paralysis. I am very interested in what is in the basement, but the door is locked. <laughs> Why did we jump to that? We went from I have sleep paralysis to there's something behind me to holy shit, I wonder what's in the basement. I feel someone behind me again. Ah! Oh, fuck! The light bulb exploded! The door to the basement has opened! It did wants me to go there! Okay, well... Don't mind if I do. I'm all for a little exploration, because I got my homework done, so... Time to get up. Get moving. Can I have something out of here? Is there anything good in here? No? Okay. Did you see a YouTube streamer got banned? I saw a clip of them, like, almost falling over. They tried to stay awake for nine days straight. What does this say? I was outside your window, but you didn't notice me! And it's in Comic Sans! Is this Comic Sans? It's not Comic Sans? Oh. I'm finally here. There's a hole in the basement, and the basement is perfectly symmetrical. The tunnel is very narrow. Why is it here? Is this gonna be- am I gonna lead into the other game where I get birthed into a butthole? What is this? I know, why are they all butthole games? Bodies? Bodies? Oh god, are these all the people my father brought home while I was at school? Whoa! Lore? Pfft. 
What is happening? It's like they it's like they edge us to the climax and then they say All right, that's all folks. Like what the hell? We're playing Siren Head Resurrection. <sighs> Me let it play the game. Warning, this game contains scenes that may... What did it say? Using headphones is recommended optimized for keyboards and mouse. That's a lot of bodies. That is a lot of bodies. All right, here we go. New game. Assisted or regular. Enable interaction highlights. The difficulty is set to easy. Some puzzle solutions may change every time you start a new game. What is interaction highlighting? Assisted. Enable interaction highlighting. What is interaction highlighting? Interaction highlighting is an assisted mode that displays possible actions of interactive objects. Limit mature content option is off. Game is configured to not limit use of strong language, blood, and gore. This option can be changed at any time in the settings options. Okay, I'm leaving it on, so if you don't like strong language, blood, and gore, then this is it. Um, I'm gonna go regular. Are they gonna say slurs? Maybe. Every time you start a new game, quest items and puzzle solutions may change. Oh, okay. I am on my way to the valley. My brother is working there as a ranger. I was contacted by the local ranger station whether we had been in touch recently. He did not report and is unreachable. Season is over and there is nobody in the area and it's quite away from civilization. Jack had some issues with the radio recently so they've sent someone to check on him. His cabin was locked and there was nobody at the watchtower. I know the area quite well. We used to spend a lot of time there when we were kids. A storm will hit the valley in the coming hours. What does this feel like I'm just like reading somebody's tweets? Uh, the whole area will be covered with thick fog in the following days. I have to act. Finally here. I don't like this place. It's been giving me the creeps since I was a kid. I'll just check on Jack and get out before it gets dark. I really don't enjoy walking around these woods, so I hope he will be at the office. Voice acting, let's go! Alright. What's with all this garbage? And I have a body! Guys, I've said it before, I'll say it again, the markers of a potentially decent game having a body. Is this my brother's car? My brother looks like an asshole. Oh, oh, and there's water sounds? Whoa, can I get money? Welcome, buy a ticket. Can I buy a ticket? No, oh, I have bad vision, okay. Ryan, thank you for the three months. Medic, thank you for the uh, five months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, how do I get inside? I can't go in there. I want to get a burger. What do you mean I can't go in there? Can I turn the head swing on? Off? Journal. Main menu. Okay. There are no options. Got it. Your character got that Sid from Toy Story Drip. He really do. He be given Sid. Okay, can't go in that door. Got it. Can't put my hand in the garbage can. Got it. Back door? No, nope, back door's locked up. Classic. Can't jump, can't parkour myself over the top of that. I think that characters in video games really don't give their, uh, their full effort, you know? Should I walk out there? Silent Valley. Welcome to Silent Valley Park. Park is closed. Carry out what you carry in. No swimming or waiting. Alcohol is permitted. Well, I'm drunk, so. Hunting and firearms are permitted. Park vehicles are in designated area. Do I have any kind of, like, map? 
Jack's cabin is located near the parking lot. I should check it first for some clues. Oh, his cabin is located near the parking lot. Do you see a cabin? What do we think Sid's cameo in Toy Story 5 will be? Um... I don't know. It says his cabin is near the parking lot. This is just a coffee shop. It must be this way. You think- you think Sid could be a killer? Oh, okay. Hold on. Where am I? I'm right there and I am swaying because I'm really drunk. And I can't- I can't reach any rock. I don't know why the game just told me that I can't reach any rock. Oh, okay. I'm here. And the ranger station is there, which is east. Okay, fantastic. What direction is east? Oh, that looks like it's right. Sid wasn't a bully, he just fucked up his toys. Did he ever bully the- what's the main kid- the kid's name in the game? Andy? Did he ever bully Andy? Or did he just take his toys? <laughs> Check your journal once in a while. It can lead you in the right direction. You can access the journal by pressing J. Dude, I would live the hell out of a cabin like this. Like, this is basically the size of my house now. Like, you give me a cabin like this, I'm chilling. It's locked. it's locked. He bullied Squeaks at Disneyland? Okay, well, if bullying Squeaks is a crime, then lock me up. Okay, where's the key? You can throw a rock by pressing the rice mount, right mouse button. Oh! -ho! Signs of a good game. I can see my body, also I can throw things. Yep. Wait a minute. That bottle just went through the wall. What? Okay, well, I guess I have to use a rock. Oh, that's a big rock. Yeah! Oh. Just gave it a little, little, oh! Oh, just give one of these. There we go. Okay. Just one of these. Okay. No worries. Just pick up a different rock. No big deal. Didn't like that rock anyways. No, I did like this rock. I don't know what I'm saying. Good horror games on this stream. God forbid. Can I not break the window? Ghost bottles. That was pretty good, huh? I am the milkman. Did you guys see Nick from the yard got a Psychonauts tattoo? So how do I use a rock to get in here? We used to hide the spare keys under the rock. Okay, I've been trying to smash the, uh, the windows out. That makes sense. Okay, my rock was right here. Oh. Oh. Do I have infinite rocks? Oh shit, wait, I have infinite rocks! I was picking rocks up and tossing them! I just got rocks all the time! I pull rocks out of my asshole! Let's go, I'm breaking everything in this bitch. Throwing a rock at you, throwing a rock at you, you get a rock. I'm breaking every single window. You get a rock, you get a rock, you get a rock, you get a rock. Rock time! Oh, that's a tough one. Yep. Yep! Can I jump through here? No? It told me that he left keys under rocks, but I think that smashing the windows is more fun. Your senses will sharp when you sneak. Oh. Well, it said that there- okay, well, I have to- alright. That's not it. Where? Under- behind the cabin. I hope that it's still there. It doesn't seem to be there still. If this was the one that they were talking about, that there's allegedly a key underneath. 
and it's very dark. So I can't see anyways. I just passed it. The key? Can you see a key here? Said when you sneak, you can see stuff. Yeah, but I don't think a key. I think that's for like danger. Under the, behind the, there's a lot of big rocks that I can move. Like it could be any of these. And I broke the window. Can I just go through the broken window? Look at the woodshed. Is it this one? Can't pick that one up. Um, I'm not seeing a key anywhere. <gasps> There's a key. Okay, I've got it. And this is how I use it. Like this. It's like a titty twister. I think at the beginning of the game when I turned off things, like little notifiers, that's what I turned off. Also, there's no reason for me to have broken all of the windows. Which is a shame. Key for front door of the cabin. I found it under the rock. Yep. Press and hold left mouse button and use mouse X, Y, or W to move. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. There we go. That's what you... Whoa! This <laughs> is... All right. That works. That works as intended. Okay. Good. <laughs> this opening the door should not be the hardest mechanic. Brother, did you leave a flashlight in here? See that? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, what is this? Ask Seden. Out of order. Okay, this is a map. The final boss is a big door. Oh, here's another door. Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> Not the door to the toilet! I'm gonna put my feet in the toilet. Oh, there's a letter. If you are reading this, do not try to follow me. Get out as soon as possible. The radio is useless. Something is messing with the frequencies. I don't know if I can trust my own senses. I saw that thing. It's horrifying. I think I lost my mind. Those divers went missing and I worried that something bad has happened. It's something connected with the caves here. I think I heard the echo of one of them in the distances. I hope I won't be late. Oh. Did I? Okay. I guess I just take it then. Can I play guitar? You're telling me that you're going to put a guitar in the game and you're not going to let me play it? That's crazy. I want this. And I'm going to throw it. You can't re Oh, bear spray. Oh, it's not infinite. Okay, don't use that too much. Put Yeah, take that with me. Nope, don't spray things. Just put it away. Just put bear spray away. Put the bear spray away. Is there anything else in here that I can take? You, you're really telling me that you don't have a flashlight in this whole place. Not a singular one. I'd better check the battery. Okay, there's no battery. Can I plug it in? What is that? Is that binoculars? Why is this game so dark? Whoa! Okay. Night vision. Okay, got it. Is there a... Okay, I already read that. Thank you. A flash drive? Steven, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. I can't see what I'm grabbing. Is, is it also, like, really dark for you guys on your side? I 
It's really dark? Okay. It's really hard for me to see. I'm- I'm hoping... Eat snacks to recover health. Okay, I'm taking that. And I'm taking this. And I'm taking this. Apple. There's like a bunch- is there a light switch? It doesn't appear that there is. There's no light in here. I don't see a light switch at all. Or something next to the door? Was it the door handle? My mouse cursor changed? Is it the door? Damn it! Ugh. Maybe I can fix it. Maybe the power is just out. I got so excited. It's cooking. It's just really dark. And there's no settings, which is weird. There's a journal and then there's an inventory. I should check the batteries. The power is still car battery stored inside the kitchen cabinet. Oh. If I get a flashlight, I'll be cooking. But as of right now, we are, we are, it's really dark. Even this stuff is dark. It's pretty. Yeah, it's just, it's just really dark. Okay. Stored in the kitchen cabinet. 10 volt battery. Oh, okay. There's the battery. Nope. What's my journal say? The battery is probably dead. I should replace it to restore the electricity. Okay. Can I get a battery out of this car, maybe? Perhaps? No, I can't pop the hood of the car. Okay, that's fucked. Is there any random batteries out here? Okay, there's some tools. Spray can pliers, a hammer, a box. What can I, can I, oh, I'm inside of the box. Okay, good. I can pick up a lot of stuff, but I can't have very much of it. All right. Well, I think that that's the end of me scrounging around outside. Anything in here? Can't open those. Toilet's good. Oh, a mask? Okay. There's a lot of stuff to interact with, but for why, you know? Can I look under the bed? Oh, is there a pen? There's a bunch of stuff on the desk. But nothing that I can have, huh? Okay, well, I think I'm in search of a large battery, unless I can interact with anything else here. I'm in search of a... a big battery to switch it out with. The battery is probably dead. I should replace it to restore electricity. Okay. So I just need a battery and I can't take one out of his car, which is bonkers. There's probably not like a random battery out here for no reason. Maybe I'll go back to- oh, I have infinite run. That's big. Maybe I can go back to my car and I can take the battery out of my car. How have the games been tonight? They're, they've certainly been games. You're telling me that I can't take a battery out of any of these cars? I can't reach any rock. Oh, okay. Hmm. Nine volt battery. Oh, I can go in the porta potty. Let's go. We've played games. There's no rocks. Can't go through the garbage. Can't do this. Hmm. 
Silent Lake. I guess maybe I just go explore looking for a battery? That sounds crazy, though. Like, where the fuck would there be a random battery? You know what I mean? It's not like there's a random battery that's just gonna be, like, sitting out in the middle of the wilderness. But I know I'm supposed to be back over there. We can only- you can lean left and right. Well, thank you. Check the cabin first. I did! It's dark! And I need a battery! Would there be one in the little shed thingy? I kind of looked. I like just tossing rocks. My guy's getting tired now. All right, we'll go back to the cabin. Office. What is this? Cable wait, what? Cable car? Yeah, can I get one airdropped to me? Pretty please? Okay, let's look at this with a pair of fresh eyes. So I need a new battery. I know that there's a battery in a car. I can't appear to open the car anyway. Can't open the back or anything. This is water. There's no... Is there a battery under here? <gasps> a battery! We're cooking. Yeah! Okay. Oh my god, it's like a little bit brighter in here now. Thank god. And the laptop's charged. I'm gonna watch so much porn. All right. Factory is abandoned. Factory is under reconstruction. Reconstruction work will begin in three months. Then, until then, it will totally abandon, but some material and machines are uh, already there. Greenwood camp was closed this Friday. Last clients finished rehabilitation and went home. Cable car will be out of order and clinic will be closed in a few days. Group of young people visited me today. They were equipped with some fancy high-tech stuff and diving equipment. We talked a little about... The caves in the area. Trevor is the lead the leader of the expedition. Frank and Sarah are the divers. Sarah mentioned that her grandmother lived in the area as a child. I told her that the old house that is still there. I don't care about any of this. I started noticing some radio malfunctions. Caves. I met Sarah and Trevor early this morning. They left Frank in the camp because he got sick. What? They were heading to the North Cave, so I gave them some bear sprays and spare keys to the watchtower just in case they run into some wolves. I was on my way to watchtower, so we went together. They are trying to discover if the North and South Cave are connected. They believe that there is a big underground system of caves under the valley, which collapsed and got flooded by the lake. I found the body of a young deer near the river on my way back. The body was torn in half and left untouched to bleed out, so it was probably attacked by a really big bear. There are some active wolves in the area, so I quickly took care of the body. Tonight the radio began to behave very strange. Even the radio in the watchtower was picking up some weird noise. I swear that I heard the voice of a young woman begging for help. It freaks me out because the voice sounds like Sarah. The nest that is slowly forming on the watchtower is becoming a problem. It is getting bigger every day. I should order a tool to calm the bees and move the nest deeper in the woods. Factory is under- okay, now we're back. Got it. Ham radio station. Status. Offline. Signal. Low. Antenna. Disconnected. Lore dumping in notes. I hate when games, like, just give you a bunch of lore all at once, you know, rather than, like, giving it to you strategically. They'll kind of dump it in like a journal. They're like, okay, here's this journal. Read all of the lore yourself and then we'll go. It's like, what? All right. What does my journal say? Jack found the deer's body in the woods torn in half. There's active wolves in the area and other animals also behave hostile. My brother was in contact with a group of young divers. Factory is under construction. Jack asked to check the area once in a while. Okay, it sounds like I need to go sleuthing around. I think you lost John's dog. <laughs> no, dude, there's no way. What is this? A candle? What is this? Why am I holding it like this? My wrists are fucked up. Go, 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 go. 
my oh drawers drawer aha uh -huh. <gasps> guys big news we found a flashlight Is that what you do? I don't know. I'm trying. <laughs> Listen, I'm not. Okay. Oh, thank God. And there's no batteries, dude. I hate when games give things batteries. Oh, what is this? Another candle and a. Oh no! <gasps> no, not more gun. Can I grab it? Okay, I can't grab it. Anyways, so never mind. What is this? What is this? Um, I don't have anything to put in there. Can I have this? Can't have that. What is this? That looks like a flash drive. I don't know what. Okay, I guess we're I guess we're cool then. It's a vape pen. Whoa! I didn't know he was chill like that. Holy moly, what's this? Is it a folder? Whoa, that's definitely gonna be science, right? Because it's green. Oh, it's a cutting it's a cutting board. Okay, can I have a knife? I think this is it. I think that's all I need to do in here. I don't think I have anything else to do in here. Science is green, right? I can't turn the radio on. Okay, I think we're good in here. No electricity. Jack was asked to check the area once in a while. My brother was in contact with a group of divers. Jack found the deer's body in the woods torn in half. There are active wolves in the area and other animals also behaving hostile. I'm guessing maybe I have to go check the factory? I'm assuming I'm, I'm done with that now? That area? Don't leave the cabin until you've centered yourself? Like mentally? I'm going off trail. Cause I'm crazy. Narrow Creek Forest. Oh, there's a deer. Hello? Red is science? That's crazy. That's a crazy take. Okay, what is this little kiosk? <gasps> Mushrooms! Mmm, I want that. Picked up poisonous mushrooms. Okay, I'll eat them. I'll be eating those later when I feel a little silly. Math is red. Math is red. 1000%. Math is blue. Uh, no, English is blue. Duh, or yellow. Yellow is- is literature. Language arts. Old house. Alright. What's in the old house? This looks like the Blair Witch house. Okay. Hello? Oh! I'm just a girl! And I have a stool. I can really, like, throw- I can pick up a lot of things. Oh, what's this? Oh, my flashlight's kind of- it's got some- A bell? Where's Mason? Ding dong! Ding dong! I'm taking that shit. Y 
Yeah, okay. All right. I don't think I'm supposed to be digging back here. I really... It can- it lets you kind of pick up a lot of things. Oh! The flashlight's got- oh, she's got settings! All right. Okay. Can I go down here? No? All right. Am I crouched or am I just really short? What's this? Dude, my flashlight is crazy. It's got settings. I went from no flashlight to a flashlight with settings. Can I open this? No. A mallet? Okay. All right. A candlestick? A roast beef? A chicken? A pizza? Bro is moving up in the world. All right. I really want to go into this little thing. But I don't appear to be able to do that from here. A roast beef, a chicken, some pizza. You're telling me an Allen fried this wrench? Well, okay. It appears that there isn't anything of interest at the old house, I guess. I'll just keep a move on. Oh, what's that? Oh, I thought that was the deer's body. These bones? Oh, they're just rocks. Everything looks mysterious. Deer? Fox! Hey, little guy! Are you hurting me? Stop doing that! What are you doing? It, what? You're not even a dangerous animal, you're a fox! Brother! Yeah, fuck you! What the hell? I'm getting my ass whooped by a fox? What the hell is that? Like the equivalent of like a is a cat. Jesus, did I just get tetanus? Crazy, it was stream sniping. Insane. He's like, I watched John's dog. Ooh, nice log. There's a watchtower. I heard a strange siren signal in the distance. I was unable to determine the source or location of it. I don't even know what direction it's coming from. Wait, what happens if I use my bell? Okay. I thought that maybe it would- it would lure him out. Ooh! Oh! Uh, can I throw rocks at the bugs? Bugs! Bugs, 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 bugs! Ew! Oh, they're bees? Bees! Bees! Gross, 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 gross. Let me in. Locked. Let me in. Oh, it's locked. Of course. I don't have a key. Oh god, I don't have a key. Oh god. I can't reach any rocks. I'm gonna have to run through the bees again. Or are they flies? Ah! Bees! <sighs> okay, so there is a locked door up there that I can't get to. I need to find the key to the watchtower. I might find some clues there. Okay, where would one get 
Jack found the deer's body in the woods. Torn out. Um. Where would one get a key, or even know where to start with a key? I don't know. If, is there? Uh. Well, I guess I'll just keep going this way. Maybe this will lead me to something exciting. The key master. The master key? Oh! Oh! Come here! Wait, what happens if I kill a deer? Come here! Oh, I can't get any rocks. Get him! Could I hunt the deer and eat it for sustenance? It's like a gross little swamp over here. Nasty little swamp. Is there a crocodile? Ooh, wait, what the fuck is this? Is there more bees? Say psych. Say psych right now. And I can't use this winch thing. What if I go in here? Can I go into this thing? I can't go into the well. Okay, and there's more bees over here. Got it. So then what? Yeah, what do I do with that? He's just like a... What is he even attached to? I can't even see what he's attached to. What are the bees on? Are they flying around something? Or they just are somewhere? Okay, whatever. His vibes hold him in place. Oh! I'm gonna get him one of these times. Where are ya? It said that the game, like, changes. So... Maybe you are supposed to just kind of like wander until you find the right spot. That seems like- that seems bad. I have rocks, I have a rock, I have a rock, I have a rock. Don't, I have a rock. Don't, I have a rock. I died. Game over. Load game. I just get- I just get... Killed by a- Oh, I have bear spray. Mmm. Oh, I loaded in here. Perfect. I just want to make sure there's no, like, shit to find there. Hmm. I don't have a map or anything. Is this the game with the woman with three legs? I don't think so. I heard a strange siren signal in the distance. I was unable to determine the sound either location the sound neither location of it does that sound weird no you're thinking of the forest yeah um okay maybe i'll try going this direction this time no the forest is fantastic great game highly recommend in this little area. Anything? A rock? It's- grammatically it doesn't sound correct. Oh, this looks like something. Okay. A prison? Wait a minute, the abandoned factory! This is good! We're kind of cooking, hold on. The game does this thing where when you interact with something that you can put a key in, it just opens your inventory. And it's like... Okay, well if I don't have the key, just tell me I don't have the key. 
It's a factory, not a prison, apparently. Apparently. What language is this? I don't have a key for this either. There's just keys fucking everywhere. I don't need a key. I'm a gamer. I do not need a key. I do not need a key. Okay. So I can't do that. Got it. Polish? Is it Polish? I swear I can do this. I bet I can. Can you make him keep jumping for 45 consecutive Oh, Jesus. Can I ask what we're all thinking? Why isn't there a search party for your brother? Does he have bad vibes? Yeah, why do I have to keep... Why do I have to do this? Like, can't I call somebody and be like, hey, so anyways, nobody, um... Nobody's heard from my brother for a while. Like, can we figure something out? Okay, can't go through that door. Oh! What is that? Is there wolves in there? How did the wolves get in there? Drop flashlight to climb. My flashlight's off. Flashlight. There's gotta be a better way to cycle stuff out. Oh, okay. I can't... Are you just saying that because you know that? Or are you saying that? Are you making a guess? This inventory system's kind of shit, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know how to not... Like, I can't see what I'm holding. Okay, bear spray. Binoculars. I don't think I can be holding nothing. It's my- I'm always holding my flashlight. Binoculars at the top right of the jump is insane. Yeah, that was- that was a crazy pull. I don't think you can climb. I think, uh, I think you're lying. Okay, this is... Can't go in there because my vision gets bad. Big long wall, can't go in here. Can I maneuver over the top of this wall? Perhaps? No? Maybe? Oh? No? Okay. I can kind of climb up the, this a little bit. Okay, I- ugh. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm just coming across random places and not having keys. The game. Oh, shit. And now there's wolves. Wolf. And I don't have any keys. Don't. If you fuckers come through this. Okay. And I don't have a map. So, can't use the map, apparently. No crowbar. I mean, it, unless it's like super... The game, I should have turned on. I wonder if I can change it. I can't. At the beginning, it was like, do you want indicators? And I was like, I don't need those. And I turned them off. But now I'm thinking maybe I do. I do need indicators. And here's the the B tower, which I also don't have a key for. You know why I got this game is because I was on YouTube and I saw this video that was like basically like praising this game. And I was like, whoa, okay. 
I didn't watch the video, but I was like, all right, that seems cool. I'll download it. And now, I don't even know what I think anymore. Can we investigate B Tower? We can't get in because we don't have a key. I didn't watch the video because I wanted to play the game. But now I'm just running around getting my ass eaten by foxes and not being able to find keys. No, I don't have a compass. That building doesn't have anything in it either. I went in there, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what the name of the video was. I want to watch it and be like, okay, what did you see in this that I didn't see? Fuck. Fucker. Fucker. More bees. Ah! Damn it. No, if I had to restart with indicators, I would not even be that far behind. I'm really thinking about it. Okay, now I'm right back here. Should I restart with indicators just to like have it help me at all? I'm doing it. Cause dude, assisted. I just wanna see how much different the indicators are. Yeah, the, every time you play a new game, everything's like randomized. So I might've just had like a weird one, but. With indicators, I think it would be maybe a little bit easier. It's bad seed. Guys, it was just a bad seed. It wasn't me, it was a bad Found seed. Here. I don't like this place. It's been giving me the creeps since I was a kid. I'll just check on Jack and get out before it gets dark. I really don't enjoy walking around these woods, so I hope you will be at the office. No, we weren't playing on baby mode. We were playing on normal mode. Use the mouse up wheel to cycle through. You can sprint by holding left shift for a sneak. Okay, great. Curious if the cabin will be in the same place. Okay, the cabin is still here. And I do know I'm now I'm determined to suss out if this game is good or bad. I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. I'm not giving up on it. I think it's probably shit. Oh, look at all- look at all this! Grab, grab, grab. Oh, fuck you, game. Why would you even have that be an option? Of course we want that. Like, oh, touch this! Poke this! Do this! Grab this! Throw that! Oh, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. There's a key nearby here? Wait, oh, what? what is this? Grab this, throw that. Oh my goodness, examine? Who would have thought? Why would you turn it off? I don't know, I thought I could big dog it. I can go in here, I don't even- I don't have to do shit! Uh, key from cabin, yep, use that. Okay, jerk off the door, go in here, do this. Do this, switch it out, awesome. Lights are... On. Okay. Examine. Wait, what is this? There's something on here that I didn't even see. Oh no, it's just a cup. Read the note. Awesome. Thank wait, I'm gonna take the take the note. Look at the laptop. Go through these. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> Interact. Another letter. I already have that. I need to put like a flash drive in this. Examine. Oh, what is this? Put back. Uh, manipulate. Flashlight. Give me that flashlight. Yep. Jerk it off. Do, 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 do. Take it. Open this. Manipulate. Take. I don't have a pistol. Well, I would like to have a pistol. If I could. Maybe have a pistol. 
Examine, grab, examine. Yeah, take that. Take some food. Take this. Open the bathroom door. Let's see if there's anything in the toilet that I could have had. No, just the mask. All right, anything good in here? I'll take this bear spray. I'll take this bear spray. Awesome. That cup can't interact with that. Whatever, 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 whatever. Don't care about any of that. See ya later, losers. Oh, I do have a compass. The compass can help you find where you should be. As you get closer, the compass needle will... The compass needle will what? Going Bees? Indicating you're in the right place. Oh, okay. I'm trying to follow the pointer. But I don't know if it's pointing north or if it's pointing me where I need to go. I think it's pointing me where I need to go. Because it's kind of changing up on me a little bit. How am I supposed to go straight over this hill? Compass? You're not making any fucking sense right now. No, I can't take the pistol mag. It says that I don't have anything to shoot. Maybe I go around this direction. Okay, go down this way. Jump off the cliff. Fuck my legs. I have a tattoo. What's my tattoo of? Is it like a... What, what is it with my tattoo of? Is it a penis? A bird in flight? Oh. You can lean left and right by holding Q and E. The Snapchat ghost. I just really love Snapchat. They tried to make it across. Yeah. They want to be me so bad. Fuck you. Why did the fox attack me that one time? Oh, what is- what- cheese? Why is there a, a comically large shaped block of cheese just out here in the woods? Who- whomst? Or why? This is- a, yeah, some Skyrim bullshit. It's like they pulled assets out of Skyrim. It's a Packers hat. My elementary school gym teacher- oh! The only noise I've heard in the game at Silent Lake. Campers. Oh, it's spinning. I'm supposed to be here. Ignite. Douse. Ignite. Douse. Grab. Pour. I just thought maybe. Examine. Take. Oh, oh, puzzle time. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I like a mini game. I like a mini game. Hold on. This is fun. Okay, what do we got here? Bottom piece. Maybe side piece. This is actually going to be kind of hard, I think. I, I'm only turning them based on the sides that make sense, you know? Yeah, without indicators, it doesn't make any fucking sense. With indicators, I have made fire. The air got to it. Okay, I feel like this could be a bottom piece. Oh, my fire went out. The air got to it. What is that? That's a bell. The bell of the ball. Hair, I think. Hair's gotta go with hair. This looks like a hand. That's maybe a hand. And an arm. I'm hoping the pieces, like, go together when you put them in the right spot, you know? 
This is this is tough. It all looks like hair. It, maybe it's grass. You know? Oh, oh, okay, wait, wait, we've got we've got a match. We've got a match. Okay, there's a little eye piece right there. Or is that part of the bell? Oh, okay, wait. And then Oh, oh, okay. Now we've we've started. I'm doing it. She's doing it. Um Maybe this goes No, I think this goes over here. What do you guys think it's gonna be? Any guessers? I think this is a bottom piece also. I think this is gonna be a bottom piece. There's like almost not enough room to put all the pieces in. Um, the problem is like they don't... They don't go into their spots. They go in... Oh, okay, that goes there. Perfect jump scare opportunity. Dude, jump scaring you while you're doing a puzzle actually would be an, an elite jump scare opportunity. Um, this part looks really burnt. There's like grass coming from all the sides here. Maybe? Maybe? No? No? Maybe? No? Maybe? No? What goes here? This is tough, actually. Wait a minute. One on the far left looks like a tree trunk might just be a background. We should work with the- You know it's weird because you do the outsides usually? But I feel like I should work on the insides. You know what's crazy, actually? I think it's upside down. <laughs> yep, look. It's- it's crazy because you can put the pieces anywhere. It's- it's totally upside down. Yep. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay. It's a torso. Now we can see it better. So we kind of know what's going on here. Okay, we're we are cooking. We're cooking with A1 sauce. Is what they say. This I think is going to go like on the outside. That's gonna be like a leg, I think, maybe? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's that. This is maybe the bottom? Wait, side. Oh, wait, that's... Okay, I know where that goes. That goes right here. <sighs> I'm cooking. That... There's gonna be a piece there. Maybe... It's gonna be a perfect piece. Oh, here's a hand. Okay, there's the hand. This is like a weird little one. That looks like it's gonna go like there. Oh yeah, it snapped in. Which leaves a little weird corner. Dude, this is a very intricate game puzzle. This could go from a game that I almost gave up on to a great game. But it also might not. It also might be shit. So there's... There's an opportunity for anything to happen here. Um, this piece right here. Oh, is that that piece? Oh, okay. I'll take it. Are there any believers? Is that... Here, maybe? Dude, the pieces are really abstract. What game is this? Um, Siren Head, like, Resurrection, I think? Something? 
think that this piece is wrong. As much as I want it to be right. No, this one is right. This one is there. This one... How many of you guys have never heard of Siren Head? Just out of curiosity. Because I think most of us have heard... Heard about it a bit. Okay, that wasn't there. I thought that that was there. Me? Oh, okay. Interesting. That'll be fun then for you guys. Because I think most of us kind of know what to expect a little bit. It's kind of like a Slender Man type... Vibe. Hmm... I feel like these should just be, like, clicking into place, but they're not. You know what I mean? Oh, what is that? No? The left hand part is insane. Is that- oh. <laughs> I mean! <laughs> I just assumed he had some wrong ass hands. Come on. Come on now. There we go. That goes there. It just needed to be moved over a little bit. Okay, this piece goes there. Oh my gosh. Guys. We're on the edge of greatness. All right. We did it. Wow! That was kind of nice. I enjoyed that. Maybe we should do some puzzle streams. Examine. Go. <gasps> You're telling me that I can't take this? I have to look at this perfect knife? And I have to put it back when I'm in a life-threatening situation? First day of the expedition. We visited a local ranger and asked him some things about the area. He looked okay, and we end up spending some time with him. Let me know. We chose the camp above the lake as our mainframe. Frank did bring all the equipment in place, so we start tomorrow. Trevor went to look in the other caves while Frank and I checked the equipment. After Trevor returned, we decided to start in a cave by the lake. I took some pictures of the paintings on the cave's wall. They look really simple and grotesque. Unfortunately, I dropped the camera in the water. First drive. Me and Frank are going in while Trevor will be processing the data. The shaft seemed a little narrow. I found a strange looking figurine underwater. It reminds me of the drawings my grandmother Tabitha added in her books. The shaft was blocked. No, I cut my leg on my way back and the shaft started to collapse. When I got to the surface, Frank was still under the water. Under the water? He probably got stuck and Trevor quickly pulled him out of the rope. Frank is behaving a little strange. He said that he heard someone under the water. Under the water? Last night, I heard Frank sneaking out of his tent and kept walking around and talking to himself. Frank started to get a little aggressive and I gave him some sedatives. Trevor is going to the North Cave with me to check the passage from the other side. Alright. Spoon. Okay, there's a lot of really valuable tools here and I think that it would make sense if I littered! I'm gonna litter! I'm gonna do it! And I do it again, too. I do it again. Okay, what else is around here? Oh, a radio. Okay. The radio is active even if you don't hold it in your hand. That's what was making all that noise this whole time. All right. Examine? What is this? What is that? Okay. Yeah, the radio is a little loud. It's spinning, which makes me think I still have something to do here. Ignite the fire? can't go in any of their little little tents their trash is here okay 
Okay. What's my journal say? I managed to piece together the torn drawing by the campsite above the lake. It was partially burned after it was thrown near the fireplace. It was ripped into lots of little pieces, so the author probably doesn't want anyone to see it. I think I recognize the creature from some urban legends as we were told as kids. A tall creature with horns that were sirens instead of a head. Okay, tell me more. Listening? I don't know if it stops spinning when I find everything that I'm supposed to find. I didn't really find anything big, like no keys or anything. Oh, there's some pills. I'll take those. Journal updated. I found a bottle of uh, strong medicine. I have a bad feeling about it. The bottle was empty. <gasps> Uh, empty bottle of strong sedatives. Use with prescription only. May cause auditory and visual hallucination. I found it in the camp above the lake. Can I use it? Can I have some? Yeah, sounds like they were just having a crazy little time. Can I burn the trash? I can't. Right. Well, I can only assume that I've found everything here, even though it's still spinning. Is that the cabin on the lake? Can I go down there? Am I gonna die if I do this? Did I save? Oh, okay. Change the channel on the radio. I can't. Unless it's got some crazy... I can't. Surely I can jump down here, right? Ouch. I'm all good. It's all good. Don't worry about me. 80 miles from Santa Fe. Okay, so my compass is pointing that way again. Silent Lake. Okay. See, it's pointing up back up at the place that I just was. Just really makes me feel like I didn't do enough there. And I don't have a key for here anyways! So I can't even go in there. What do you mean I can't reach any rocks? There's plenty of rocks nearby. Why is it- where is it telling me to go? It's spinning? No, it's not spinning. What's this? Uh, what is that? What is that? Rubbish? All right, well, I guess I have to follow this compass, which is leading me this way. And then it's leading me this way. Oh, a cave. Or spelunking now, baby. All the good stuff, a camera? Hell yeah! It's cave time! What are these? Can I use the camera? I can't- I can't use the camera, can I? 
use. Oops. Okay. Can't use it. Apparently. And I can't go cave splunking. This flashlight doesn't work nearly as good as the last flashlight that I used. Remember my other flashlight could like go up? What is that? Oh, oh. Can I use these lights? Okay, they're shining on that. Which looks like two, a bunch of people praying at that thing. And then this one is like a bunch of people praying again to the thingy. And I can't go in there. Okay, so this is just a sightseeing thing. So I have the camera. Wait. Do you think that I can take the camera and attach it to the computer in the cabin? Is Minecraft Monday still a thing for tomorrow? Yep. That's an opportunity. Maybe. Possibly. I just have to figure out how to find the cabin. No Among Us Monday. Among Us? Have you gone to eat Eggs Benny lately? No. Not at all. I should take myself out to breakfast tomorrow morning. Hope there's a vlog on there. Oh! Interesting. Hmm. A little bit scary. Um, guys. Oh, I think we're close to the cabin, though. I have bear spray. 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 <laughs> Hell yeah! What is that noise? Is that music or... I have to cycle through all my things. Hold on. Uh, yep, this one. Oh, that's the cable car. I thought that that was... something. Jesus Christ, he was actually scary. Would still choose the bear, though. Would still choose the bear. If I press... No, I actually have to cycle through. Okay. Okay. Yep. Can't. Yep. Nope. Yes. Wait. Okay, wait, hold on. No, shut up. Interact. No, fuck you. Okay. Okay! It's blurred out! Is the gore blurred? No. Oh, okay, what's that? Can't see that one. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Can't see that one. Okay. 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 Corrupted, maybe? And this one's blurred. Okay. Probably just corrupted files. Yeah, the there's one that's like blurred though, and I don't know. What does my journal say? Camera did not contain any additional information. I should keep looking further in the woods. The area around the watchtower and Greenwood Camp. I printed a photo of a strange looking figurine from the camper's camera. I wonder what it is. A 
on some mining and diving equipment on the ground, but nothing extraordinary unlike this place, which always gives me the creeps. Every time I see those paintings, I get claustrophobic. Okay. Well, I'll just take my handy dandy little compass out and keep exploring. And hopefully it doesn't take me back to that one place. Ah! Bill Diffie. Is he trying to fuck my shit up? Okay, chill, brother! My compass? Yeah, it's, um... Like, there's compass. You know how there's, like... You know how there's, like... old house? Meet you at the old house? You know how there's cactus and cacti? Well, it's the same thing with compass. Meet you at the old house. Where? Where is this person that I'm supposed to be meeting? <gasps> Whoa! Chill! Yeah, Max, Look exactly. Just woke up. Oh no, he's Team Rocket! Rocket. Scream. There is nobody in this goddamn place who can help you. Not even your best friends. You want to know something about friends? They left me there. He's Never so animated. He looks like Dane Cook. Why is he doing a, a Dane Cook stand-up routine right now? It is demanding a sacrifice, but you're not the one it's looking for. So do not interfere. Leave this place and never come back. Oh. Oh, jeez, okay. Okay. All right. What is this? Who is that? What does it say on the back? I gotta tip my arm weird. I got I can't tip my arm like this. Frank, friends die to- best friends die together. Trevor, Sarah. I don't really think best friends need to die together. You're telling me I can't take a hatchet. Oh yes, I can. Okay. Why am I swinging it like I've just never held a hatchet? I'm swinging it like I have T-Rex arms. Okay, put the hatchet away. We've got shit to look at. Okay. Ooh. Okay! We've got something and another pill bottle. <laughs> Take that. Something back here. Huh? And we already looked at this. This doesn't do anything. It just is a mallet. Interesting. Best friends die to get a- Wait, what does that say? Hold on, wait, in the corner? Eight. Wait, look at the codes in the left corner. Somebody write that down. Eight and six. Eight and six. Can't you just take that? Kay. Well, you know, maybe whoever it belonged to would come back to find it, so I didn't want to, you know. Okay, where are we going next? Eight and six. Well, we should go back to the parking lot. 
and try to find whatever that code was for, right? I don't know if we can find the first two numbers, but if there's one number, if it's a three code lock, then we'll get it because we can just go through all the numbers. Writing is for nerds. Yeah, fuck writing. We're still on the precipice. This could be a good game, guys. We'll never know. Unless we finish it. Okay, uh, we gotta go back to the parking lot. I don't think the numbers work like that. No, if we know what 8 and 6 is, then if there's a 3 code lock, then we can cycle through all the different uh, options of the first one. As long as that bench is still there. Wait, what did- hold on, let me look at this real quick. Where's my- Okay, I wanna look at this, yeah. So, it was on the hood of his car, and then... What is that? Wait, it's on the hood of his car, and then... That was sitting on the top of the car. Which is no longer here. Fuck! Damn it. I need some money. I would like to buy a ticket. You're telling me I can't... Can I use my hatchet? I can't hatchet glass? Am I crazy or was that car red? Um, the thing was red next to it. I think you might be... I think you might be crazy. Is it just me or the volume is low? I turn it down because sometimes it's too high. I can turn it back up. And it sounds like this, but... If it gets too loud, let me know. <laughs> I think you had, like, color dyslexia right then. Um... Well, I guess whatever it is that we needed to open is gone now. So... I'll just take my cars out again. I have so many things now. This compass is not very directional. It kind of just like swings back and forth. Yeah, I feel like the axe has surely got to be helpful in some regards. Like the axe is gonna, right? It's gonna do something. I'm just, I'm just running through the woods. This is like Johnny Depp's compass and pirates. Some bullshit compass. Also, I'm sorry. This game has been good so far, but if you had if you have to add a compass that leads you to what your heart most desires feature, come on. Just no. Don't. Don't look at me. Can we talk about the cactus equals cacti so compass equals yeah, do you want to talk about it? What does it equal? What is this? A sword in the stone? Oh, it's a cactus. It's just a tree. Whee! I feel like I might be going a little bit off, off, off rip here a little bit. I don't feel like maybe this is... I have a bad feeling. I think I need to save. Okay, I don't... You know, I... I don't know what I expected. I... Okay, that's... it's... Maybe the game will help me. Maybe the game will know I'm stuck and it'll get me out. Let me just, I just, there's rocks. I can throw rocks. Help. What are those dots? Am I losing it? Help. Help me. Please. I, oh God. I can get out. I can get out. I can get out. 
I I can get out. I can do this. I just fill it up with rocks and then it'll push me out. I just put enough rocks in this area. Eventually it'll push me out. Okay. Yep. But just fill it up. Invisible 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 crevice. Alright. And this is why old house into the woods. Which one's the newest one? Is it this one? It was starting to work. No, it wasn't. Okay. Alright. We're so back. As long as we can get back up those rocks. If we fall down here, we might die, but we also might live. We'll try it. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ah, uh, it killed me. All right. <laughs> I can't keep living like this. I was so right. Um. Okay, I just have to get back up this rock crevasse. No, we did Well, actually, we can do the paper puzzle again. Did we do the paper puzzle again? No, because I think we've done that, right? Oh, please tell me I don't have to go, like... No, 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 no! Ouch. Oh, I fucked up, guys. Why did I go ATV off-road fury? I gotta stop trying to break games. Sometimes it's not as exciting as I think it's gonna be. The compass will help. It'll guide me. The compass will guide me. Yep. Here. 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 Nope. Okay, can't go up that way. I can... I can do this. Here. Go up this... A little side. No, don't go there. Don't go there. Go up here. Yep, up here. Uh-huh. And then run and jump here. Okay. And then just jump onto that. Okay. Yep, there we go. And then we can take this down without dying. Just jump on that. Okay. Now jump over here. Okay! Uh, w. Double U. I can't remember if we went to the campsite before we reset because of the indicators. But I feel like it might have been. Does anybody remember? Puzzle was after. Okay, so I did the puzzle. Double U. DMing. Yeah, I already did all this. Okay. Yeah, because I did that. Okay, big. Big, massive. Um, so now it's telling me to go here. Where is it wanting me to go? Yes, compass simulator. It's wanting me to go here. Okay, what if I go out on this rock ledge? <laughs> I straight up almost just went back and did everything that I just did over again. I can't, um... I can't go that way. But I'm a little bit confused about where I need to go to get that direction. I don't think I'm cooking! I think I'm simmering! I think that the pod is on heat. You know, like the water's... The water's going. I'm gonna go back down to the water. <laughs> What's a woman gotta do to traverse the back country with a compass in hand? Okay, I'm following my compass. Maybe it's making me go back into the cave. 
Mm, it doesn't seem to want me to go back into the cave. Seems to want me to go onto this island. Update. Can't go out to the island. Can't go that way. Okay, I think that I'm gonna have to like call an audible here and just like go the other way, go around. What is this? Can I go in here? It's just got firewood in it, doesn't it? Well, why would you put that there and give me hope? There's a map right there. I understand that. We're in cooking mommy yellow right now. Is that game any good? What is that chihuahua noise? Could have been me. All right, we are going to take this path and we're going to take it around the whole GD map. I'm going to find a new path. I'm going to use my infinite sprint. Kind of suck. No. What's your guys' favorite like deep cut game that just like nobody has heard of that you just swear by? Like mine is Shadows of Doubt. And I talk about it all the time and I just don't understand why people don't love it. I thought that was a bear. It was a really small rock. Cable car. Well, I certainly can't go to the cable car. And we know that. Gris. I've heard it's good. Maybe I should stream that. Do you think that would be a good stream game? It's crazy because I actually haven't heard of any of these games that you guys are saying. Bastion. The Burger King racing game on Xbox. Yeah, it's a deep cut. Fab Adam, thank you for the 13. You really stayed for a whole year and then said, all right. All right, I'll run it back. Okay, there's the old house. We're going past that. This is gorgeous. Great stream game, really? I've been wondering if I should stream it because I didn't know if like it, it would be fun to watch. Like it, I knew it was like visually stunning, but Brody loves that game. He said it's great. Ooh, okay, I think we're on a path. Inscription, I've played. The funny thing about Inscription is when you think you're getting close to beating it, you actually are like halfway through. Um, I fucked up and I didn't want to play all the way through, so I looked up a YouTube walkthrough. Yep. Okay, that's the bees again. I don't have a key for up there, though. But it's telling me I should go there. But I don't have a key. Oh, maybe it's telling me I should go this way. Oh, this way. Okay, I'm gonna try to go up again. Uh, 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 uh. Bees! Can you open it? Locked. It's locked. Of course. I don't have any keys for that. Oh, examine? What? Just a, a jewel? A gem? Precious gems? One of 20? Who's leaving precious gems around here? See, that's that's why I need the buttons. Okay, hear me out. Where's my hatchet? Can I have a hatchet? Why can't I break the window? Just a little baby. Oh no. You guys read Hatchet. Ooh, actually you might be like re-emerging some deep cut memory that I I forgot about. 
Yeah, I've been wanting to download Bellatro because I've heard it's great. Little tiny baby with a hatchet. I have no money. I can't swing hatchet. I'm too. I'm not strong. I think we're gonna come across the uh, factory here. This game is what Firewatch wishes it was. Dude, don't get me started on Firewatch. I have one of the most controversial takes of that game, and it's that it fucking sucks. It built up to what could have been awesome, and then just the ending was just... It's like if you were at a climax and somebody showed you a picture of your grandpa. Like, it is the biggest ball buster of all time. I don't know what I wanted, but I wanted something, and it didn't give me anything. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, fuck you! I have a hatchet for next time. Oh, you want more? Uh-uh. Greenwood. We're in Greenwood. North Cave. Greenwood Camp. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Bees. Bees! Has there been an avalanche? I wonder what happened here. The pass is blocked by fallen rocks and boulders. I won't be able to get to Greenwood from here. Maybe if I get to Greenstone Cave through a shaft or tunnel, I'll be able to access Whispering Forest. Where the fuck is Greenstone Cave? I don't know. I think I can shimmy through there. Is there things to investigate? <gasps> a gem! A precious gem. Yes! Two of 20. What happens when I get all 20? A gem! It looks like the Spyro gems. Take your contacts out and watch the screen real close because you just did skincare and don't want to put glasses on. Okay, hear me out. I heard that if you are a glasses wearer and you don't have your glasses on, you open your phone and then you click on the camera and then you hold your phone really close to your face and you can see because you're te it's technically close to your face but it's letting you see stuff that's far away <laughs> like if you're i can't remember like if you can't see far away without glasses on you you hold your phone close to your face with your camera can anybody confirm if that works or not, or if I'm just bullshitting? Yeah, Velma could have saved herself so much time. Oh wait, I didn't even see this. That does work, but it sucks to do. Yeah. Emergency! 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 Finding Mr. Beat! Like, if you lose your glasses, what do you do? A zucchini?! Oh, it's a cucumber. Well, they all work the same. Oh, there's a lot of glass. Why are there so many mugs here? What is this for? Riding on a porch. No, Caitlin, that was almost a week ago. We missed the holiday. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is the North Cave. Damn, these people love coffee. I hear bees. I can grab a whole pallet? What am I gonna do with a whole pallet? Examine. Spray paint? More bear grills? <gasps> Wait! Wait, what was it? What was the last two? There's so many.
We need six. Okay, we just need one, two, three, four more numbers. Surely. Surely. I can't take the screwdriver? Yeah, that's not gonna be helpful ever. Apple? Uh, apple? What you eating there, sport? Uh, apple? Propane? Why does it go into cinematic when I pick up the tap? Yeah, where the fuck are the gems? I feel like... Listen... Is there any, like, music that's kinda... This pro- this- this thing's fucking annoying. Why is there ramping up music? It's really quiet. Is there a gem back here? It's like... It's very slowly... I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. I mean, I can't go down there. Well, let me go down there, so... I don't have all the keys to that. Maybe, do I need that pallet for something? learn anything from this area. Wait. Where's my compass? It's pointing to like me. Oh there we go. Maybe is the siren head outside? Then you want to go through that cave to get to that place? Yeah that's what it's saying is I have to go through the cave to get to the place but I can't Like, how do I go down there? I can't... I mean, I need to open that chest, but I don't have all the, the key- the things to it. Hatchet to break wood? Oh, maybe. <laughs> he was so bad at that. No, I can't pick the jackhammer up. No, I had to take the north cave to green something. Yeah, I... I hate how hard it is to maneuver in this game. Like, I have to open that, but I don't have all of the... I don't have all the keys for it, or I don't have all the numbers for it, so I just have to come back. Like, dude, come on, let, just let me jump. Let me jump. I'm gonna go back out, because the music is ramping up enough that maybe I need to go back out somewhere. Dude, you have to, like... The, the basic walking mechanics in this game are shit. Okay, the hyped up music l stops when I leave that cave. It says, maybe if I get to Greenstone Cave through a shaft or tunnel, I'll be able to access Whispering Forest. That looks like a shaft or a tunnel! If you ask me, which nobody did. 
dude. I, I could go to Waffle House right now. I'll just kind of fuck off elsewhere and see if maybe it gives me... Don't. 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 I have the stuff. I'll do it. I have the stuff. I'll do it. Yeah, why did I take a cucumber? Wait, is the cucumber a key item? Salmon. I want to examine. I want to examine. How do I examine? Do I throw... A strange figurine? Use item. <laughs> Photo of divers? I threw the strange figurine down. I can't throw the cheese down. Okay, now what? I guess that's it. I just threw it down and it is what it is now. What did I do? What did I activate by throwing it down there? Okay. Alright, I guess I'll keep going. Keep cooking. Maybe you offer your gems. My family jewels, if you will. I gave my family jewels to Siren Head. A t-shirt that says, I gave my family jewels to a mythical creature. And I all I got was this t-shirt. Grass fields. You don't say. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me try something real quick. Had these crumbs in my bed, thought you would want them. Okay, it's actually... Oh, thank you. Thank you for the crumbs. It actually wants specifically a key. I thought maybe I could click on, like, the hatchet or something. Can I throw a rock at the the bee thing? Perhaps. Oh, wait a minute. I threw I threw I threw. She's throwing? Are there still bees? Can I pick it up? I hit it with a hatchet. The bees are gone. <gasps> the bees are gone. Okay, well, that's good, at least. Right? I don't really think that... I was wondering, like, maybe there's, like, a key or something somewhere. Like, that I can't access because the bees were there. You know, like a- like a, a key, like, hidden or something. And I can't- what's in there that I want? A gun?! Give me that gun! I have a hatchet! Break the window! Don't care about the window! We're good! Give me that gun! Move that bus! And a microwave? Holy shit, is there like a rock maybe that I can... I know that rocks sometimes can be- there can be stuff under rocks. Alright, well I genuinely think I need a key, so... 
See, she's spinning. She's spinning. Makes me think that I need to do something here, but I don't think I can yet because I don't have a key. Upset. House key under a rock. That's, you know, sometimes that's what happens. You leave a key under a rock and then... Okay, I went this way last time and that's how I found that little thingy. Or is this how I found the factory? It's telling me to go away from this direction. Micro- Michaelwave? <laughs> um, my name is Michael. Okay, I already did that. I'm gonna keep going, going down this way. See if there's anything up here for me. Like, do they have a more doormat to check? I'd check it. I didn't see a doormat, no. I go all the way up here. Dude, I- there's been so many food items that have been mentioned during the stream that have made me so mad because I realize they exist. Like, like mac and cheese I just remembered exists. Oh, and this is back to this! Dude, I'm telling you though, I go in here and there's some music that plays. Bug. Like, why is there such crazy music that plays? Like, it makes me think that I'm supposed to be in here. What's this? Like, do you hear the music? Why is this like this? And then we've got the stuff here. Intense music. It's I need to be able to get in there, I just don't know what the code is. I can't go down here. Do I have anything, like... I can't interact with any of this, can I? North Cave. Yeah, I know that's where I am. Can't interact with anything. Can't interact with jackhammer. Nothing. I got a hat. That thing, a hat. Yeah, I gotta find more clues. The music just really makes me feel like I need to go in there. No, I haven't been to the factory yet, and I was kind of trying to go there. But I haven't found it yet. Oh, there's another one. Yep, bitch. Hatchet. Hatchet time. Hatchet time. Where's the hatchet? What? What? Are you, what, what, what it, it's a ha what? Huh? Where, where did it fall? Where are you bitches? Ooh, what's this? Wait, is that mine? Oh, maybe I ran out? Oh, there we go. Did I not kill it? Wait, I thought that I killed it. That's a brick. I'm so confused. Last time I hit it with a hatchet. Get off of me! Yeah, apparently I just litter if I run out. Okay, um... Greenwood's up there. Ranger Station. The Sawmill. The Mines. There's like so many places that I... The Sawmill. I think that's the factory. The North Cave goes through Greenwood. See, so I need to get up to Greenwood. Which means I gotta go through that cave. Yeah, so it looks like if I just go south... I guess... 
but I don't even know which way south is. Crazy concept. Um, maybe jot the little map down? We have to follow this water. Okay, the water goes directly into the side of a rock. Got it. South is down. Well, you'd think... I <laughs> How the fuck do I get to the sawmill? Yeah, the sawmill, I think, is the factory, which is where I haven't been since I, I reset the game. But goodness, is it hard to find my way around here when my compass only points to things. Yeah, too bad that the compass is not a compass. I don't know, is that too much to ask for? So I know that we went to the watchtower and then we go south. Greenstone Cave specifically, that was the bottom left of the map. Yes, I I don't know. It's that that north cave is is where we need to go, but why is there more bees? Bees everywhere. Okay, maybe we haven't gone this way yet. Maybe this looks generally new. My ass is lost every day of the week. Ah, okay, here's this. Fantastic. I still have no keys, but... Abandoned factory. The compass is pointing so far away from the abandoned factory. I do not think I'm going to be able to get in here. Open. I don't have the key. And I can't use the axe. Okay, I can interact with that, but I don't have the key. Just looking for stuff to interact with over here, I guess. Hello, Scootish. Okay, nothing to inter interact with. That's kind of eye level. I think that it's- I think the- the sawmill is- is a wash. Because I think that it would- <sighs> I tell you, man, this game. It gives you a compass and is like, follow the compass. And then you go to where the compass points and and you need a key and then you're like, well, where do I go? This game looks good. It's... It's on the precipice, but it... Directionally, it's... A disaster. When it comes to telling you where to go... An atrocity at best. really bad. You follow this compass, basically, but sometimes the compass points you to places that you can't go. Like, right now, the compass is pointing me to this watchtower, and when I get up to the watchtower, I don't have a key for it. So... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. It's a lot of just going, wait, so where do I go? Wait, so where do I go? It's like, I need to go here. Okay, well, what do I need to do here? Because I can't get in there. So, it makes me want to not go there. But then I don't know where to go. Like it's telling me to go back. What do I do? What does it want from me? I don't have a key to get in there. And the cave that it's telling me to go into, I can't do anything in there either because I don't- Stop doing that with your hand, you pervert.
Okay. Let me read my. I threw a figurine into the well. The ground shook a little as I heard the figurine hit the water surface. Found a well in the middle of the forest, but it was used for a figure of a screamer, as they call it, as local legends based on paintings and caves. Okay. There's no, uh. Someone is butt dialing your radio. It seems like it. Is there a key hidden wherever the compass points to? No. So what was that noise? Like what what activated that? Check the pictures again. We've got it. We've got the code. There's three numbers on that picture, and then there's two numbers on the other picture, which I think either leads zero or one number, which both are fine. We've got it. We're going back into the cave. We're going back in, baby, if we can figure out how. I can't remember how to get there. I'm pretty sure it's this way. But I could also be really wrong. We are so back. Hopefully. Except there's bees. Get the hell out of my way. The box phobia is like, I just, guys, I need to know what color the box is and I got it. I can crack it. I just... God help me, what color is the box? <laughs> Whoa! Hello, raiders! How do? Uh, we're playing Siren Head game. Scary game. And we just figured something else out. We're gonna open the lock on this right now. Samichi? Thank you so much for the sub. How did you guys go on your stream? What did you do? Okay, watch this. Okay, ready? Photo from camera. Chat? What are those numbers? 017. Okay, everybody, 017. What are these numbers? 86. 01786. A back to back raid! Hey! Part timer raid! Uh oh! Somebody's slacking. Hello, raiders. 01786. 01786. Okay, let's see what's in this box. We've been working up to this. Zero. This one's for you guys. One. Seven. Incredible retention. Eight. Okay, wait. So this one's eight, six. And this one, we just have to go through and try all of them. Because we have all the other numbers. One of them will work. Surely. Surely one of them will work. Surely, surely one of them will work. Did I open it? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one it was, <laughs> but I, my journal. I tried every possible combination for missing digit, but the box did not open. I'm sure I'm on the right track. Maybe I missed something in the photos. I should take a closer look. Oh man, okay, wait. Okay, yeah, we're playing Escape the Backrooms. Oh, cool. I haven't played that one. I should ask the yarns if they want to play it. Wait, so what was different, guys? So, 86, 01786, and then Desi, hello. Hi, Queen Freely. Thank you so much for the, uh, the resub. I appreciate it. Um, go to the inside one again. This one? What am I missing, guys? Because the code is 01786. It's shifted. Oh, 
Oh, I see what's going on. Hold on. I know what's going on. Okay, catch this. So the numbers were here. Yeah, because it was a different angle. That's actually... Here's what I'm saying, dude. The mechanics, like, the little puzzle things in the game are really clever. But, like, that, I've never seen in a game before. That's pretty smart. But the navigation of the world is horrible, because it doesn't tell you where to go. But once you get there, the stuff that it has you do is really cool. Okay, what do we got here? We've got a key. We're, the watchtower key. What else? What else do we have in here? It's saying examine, but I don't... I don't think that it's anything like that. Well, thank you guys for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope that it was, uh... I hope that it was a really nice stream, and thank you for... subjecting everybody to watching me play this debatably good or bad game. We are yet to find out. I don't think I can deal with any of that. I think it just is what it is. Okay, that's fine, because we can go to the watchtower. That's big. We've been trying to go there for fucking years. Years, I tell you. Needs more true love, heart, desire, come pie, I guess. That's what I've been saying, is everybody needs a come pie that will show you what your heart truly desires. And I don't think that's too much to ask in a game mechanic. Am I crazy? Also, the deer that just, like, are, are supposed to jump scare you, maybe? Or whatever? I don't, I don't know. So true. They were in the back rooms. This is similar, I think. It's This is like the back rooms, but outside. So it's kind of like the outdoors. The great outdoors. You know what I mean? The backwoods. Yep. It's the farm. You know when they say we took Fido to the farm? This is the farm. This is that farm. These are their stories. Okay, we have a key for the watchtower. And you know what's in a watchtower, chat? We all saw it. Starts with G and rhymes with fun. Okay, now the hardest mechanic in the game, opening doors. Ooh, let's go! I didn't want to shoot that. I didn't mean to shoot that. What the hell was that? That was me shooting the gun. Am I losing my mind? What happened? I'm gonna put the gun away. I'll take that. You angered it? Did I make it mad? I'm a little baby! What's this? A book! <gasps> what does this say? I can't... Okay. How do... How do... Okay. What did it say? Jack wrote a note about a mushroom he found on his way to Greenwood. He didn't find it in his atlas, so he sent it for analysis. That's great, Jack. Can I read it? Can I read the note? Are we just gonna... Right. Well, I'm gonna, I guess I'll just die then. Bolt cutters, thank you. A potato, all right. A mag for a gun that I still don't have. Uh, the the door door's is jammed. jammed. Of course, the door's jammed. A piece of bread, yummy. Apple, yummy. Apple, yummy. A lantern, dude. It's giving me all the good stuff. What's happening here? Where was all this? A a shoe. I love shoes! Where's George Bush? Alright. Um, I think that that's... Yeah, this- it's in games, when they g load you up with a bunch of stuff, things- things are not looking good. The lantern is really nice. Why did it give me a lantern and a flashlight, though? I also can't cycle through anything anymore. What is happening to my body? So I can't keep the lantern. What do I need bolt cutters for?
Does anybody know, like, is it... Cut the lock at the sawmill, maybe? Maybe. Door to the factory? Door of the factory. I guess, yeah, maybe. Like, that might be it. Typically, bolt cutters are not used for cutting bolts. Yeah, when have you ever seen a bolt cutter be used to cut bolts? I'm trying to think any other time we've seen a bolt cutter, or seen something like that. I th it must be for the factory. Okay, second question, which leads me to when, where, and how do I get there? <laughs> how did I get to the factory? Is it this way? Actually, you know what we can do? We have to drop that. Compass. The lantern's great. We can't take it because we can't put it away. Okay, where do we go? If it's telling me to go back to the watchtower, I'm gonna lose it. You piece of shit. It's telling me... Maybe there's more I need to do up here? Let me read all the parts of my journal. No, it's just the mushroom note. Find access to Greenstone Cave. How much ammo do you have? Don't know. It's really making me think that I have- there's more to do in here. But I don't know if there is. You already examined that. I can't take these. As much as I want to take these, I literally can't take them until I have the gun, which is crap. I can't take the hunting knife. Can't use the microwave and I'm hungry. The door is jammed. And I can't take this shoe. Hatchet a safe. The door is jammed. The door is jammed. Ah, the door is jammed. The door is jammed. Is that? I mean... The door is jammed. It looks like bolt cutters I can't use. I have to like... Uh, it's a key. Dude, that goes to the sawmill for sure. For sure. For sure. I, how much you want to bet there's a pistol in the thing? I'm just gonna go to the sawmill, fuck it. I'm pretty sure it's this way. To the factory! I'm pretty sure that this is the right way. This can't be real. It... I only saw it for like a second. Uh. Yeah, I only saw it for like a second. What is that? It, like, was there, and then it just blended in. I think I'm on the right track, though. A half a deer. That's crazy! It just, yeah, it just, like, I saw it over the treetops for, like, one second. Okay. Open with bolt cutters. Yes! 
Fantastic. Okay, I'm pretty sure I saw wolves in here, so I'm gonna be careful. Grab. Oh, okay. Can I go up here? Nope. All right. Examine. Fantastic. How would one... How would one person with two legs get up there? Is my question for you. A simple ladder, some may say. Okay, never mind. Goodbye. Have a good day. Is there more? You know, you, you made it a little late, but the, uh, the effort, that effort is to be had. They missed the bus, but the, it was the next bus. Showed up. Close. Almost. See, if this was a platformer game, I would go up this, and then one of you would jump on that end, and then it would fling me up. But that's not, that's not what we're doing here. Hmm. Ooh, a door. No. Okay. Okay, go through that way. Apparently. Oh. I love a, I love a good tunnel. I love a life a nice little tunnel moment. What is this? Ow. Right. What is it? Rusty metal sheet. What is one gonna do with a rusty metal sheet? Oh, guys, look. A raid. Hello. I've streamed so late. I can tell by who's raiding me. Hello, raiders. We're playing, uh, Jordan. Did you ever play this one? Siren Head uh re re jerked or whatever siren head jerked and twerked i don't know not yet i'll tell you no spoilers that it's maneuvering around the game is a pain in the ass but the individual things it has you do are pretty good i it's tbd whether it's worth playing but it might be the ending might be really cool Okay, like, how do I get up there? I don't know. Here's a simple ladder. Um, how would one navigate going up a simple, a, a simple ladder? Perhaps maybe some bouncing? I don't know. What did you guys do for stream? Did you put that thing down, flip it, and reverse it? Okay, now I'm up here. Okay, no. No. Okay, maybe one of these, and then maybe one of- oh, nope, okay. Alright, fantastic, good. Did you try using the steps? No, because I'm not like other girls. See, that isn't how that is. That's not how that is. That isn't how that- no. You're telling me that there is a goddamn ladder right there, and my dumb ass couldn't figure out how to climb up that ladder, so I had to jump from a pile of bricks to a box up on here. No. Ain't no way. What is this? It better be good. I don't, is it? Uh, is it too much to ask to have the button do what it's supposed to do? You can't reach a rock anywhere. I know that. What? Okay. All right. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Anyways, it's it's an okay game. TBD if it's good. I'll take my little handy dandy compass out. My campus is gonna tell me to go back, huh? Go this way? Oh, great. Fantastic. Well, I can't. 
You're really selling me. I'm I'm brute forcing this game into being a good game. I'm I will I will make it I will make it I will. Okay, go this way. Fantastic. How do I get up there? Can I move these bricks? Can't open those. Okay, I have a hatchet and a gun. What's back there? I can hear it. Hello? Is it a wolf? I bet it's a wolf. Use the bolt cutters. See, that's the thing is I can't use the bolt cutters unless it's like an interaction thing. What is this? Oh, okay. Maybe you're not meant to go that way. want to you know what if a woman wants to climb over a pile of bricks <gasps> okay when did this game turn into a platformer what happened what happened god forbid a woman has hobbies <laughs> we do this Put that there? What? I don't understand. I can't. It, like, this really makes it seem like I should be able to run and jump off of it. Huh. Why did he sound like he came when he landed? Dude! I'm telling you, man. Happens to the best of us. Oh. So doesn't that really seem like I'm supposed to do this? But then why? For what reason? For why? Should it do I? <gasps> when did this game become a platforming game? It hasn't been like this the whole time! I have not maneuvered at all! And now it's doing this? This game cannot at any moment decide what kind of game it wants to be! Why would you have it just be walk up and down through the grass fields and then now we're doing parkour? I hate it. There's trains?! No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. Oh, shit. Fuck off. And that was one of my two bullets. Examine. Oh, a map. Lovely. to tell who am I to tell you what to do <laughs> oh what is this can I What's this? <gasps> a puzzle! I love those! Okay. Pipes. At least this one I can tell which one... What goes where. Check. Breakers. Okay, side piece. Maybe bottom piece? Parking. Okay... Yellow lines, pipes. Okay, check breakers, pipes. Red arrows. 
Where's my flashlight? Um, uh, is that? Yep, that goes there. I unironically love these little puzzle sections when I didn't think that I would. Okay, blue arrow. Maybe there? Yep, okay, blue arrow. Fantastic. And then maybe this one down here. Tools. Tools and pipes. Okay. That. Okay. Yep, that goes there. All right, we're cooking. We're going to have to move the whole thing over, though, unfortunately. Pipes. Check breakers. Tools. Circle. That thing. Do not... Not... Uch. Do not... Do not. Do not do anything for any reason, ever, no matter who you are or what you think you're doing. Do not. There's got to be another part of a piece that has word on there, right? Am I silly goofy? No touching. Do not. I don't know. Okay. King. It's either fucking or parking. Or both. Mm, that seems wrong. Do you think that all the pieces are here? No, I've never played Dan Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew? More like Nancy who? Am I right, gamers? <laughs> I'm so haunted. This seems... Ah, there we go. Okay. 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 Okay, so it's definitely, like, still ripped. Okay. Can anybody remember all this? Because I can't take it with me. Not to ouch. <laughs> support women pretty fucked up to tear her down like that I don't support women I do not support women's rights I only support women's wrongs someone screenshot you guys got this ready right somebody got it three two one I know one person's on mobile is it in your journal um I found a map of material stored inside the factory with three marked areas first area was right where I found the map Another area marked the location of the entrance to the forest where I came in. The last place was at the opposite to the forest entrance. It might be a good idea to check those areas more closely. Another interesting place was marked to check the breakers. This area was close to entrance to the forest, but direct path is blocked. The path around the building looks very dangerous, but if I want to get there, I should be able to sneak around unnoticed. Um, I don't know what the fuck that means. Surely one person screenshotted it. Where's my binoculars? Use the bell? No! I mean, if I had to, I would. 
but I don't really want to. Siren head. Oh, it disappeared. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Oh, a gem. Yee, piece of candy. All right, um, what do I do? What do I do here? S does he not like the bell or does he love the bell? The bell seems like it would get him a little closer to me than I don't want him to be that way. You can't walk through things. You can't phase through things. Don't. Don't, 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 no, 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 I have a gun! I don't know when my last save was, I hope it was recently. It was so quiet, he just picked me up, he just plucked me. Oh, thank god. Did I- oh, do I have to go do the map thing again? I think I'm gonna have to go do the map again. No! And I have to do the parkour! <gasps> what?! No, I don't do that! What the hell was that?! Hardcore looking ass. Get away from me. I brightened the, the map and put it in Discord. Oh, that could be helpful. I think that that map I just looked at was like the same map. Is there something back here? Why is this open? You know what I mean? Someone called the cop Bihar on the school. Okay, this is over here. Oh god, I have to do it again. Speed run. Pipes. Check breakers. Tools. Pipes. Check breakers. Tools. Pipes. Check breakers. Uh, this was like over here somehow. I don't know where this piece was. That's there. Uh, do not, do not ouch. Do not ouch. Parking, uh, was like he here or something. I don't, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna save after I do this. Do not ouch. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Okay, I think that's right. Um. Oh god, I hate this. I hate that I've already done this. There we go. Um. There's pieces underneath it. God. Why? Tell me why? Ain't nothing but a heartbreak. Tell me why? Ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why? South America Peace and Center. South America Peace and Center. 
but there we go. That. And then... That one there. We're cooking. We are cooking. Uh, your honor, she's cooking? Oh no, the flame's gone out. She's cooking again? That's wrong. Maybe. Dude, I already solved this. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. There's that piece. There's that piece. There's that piece. And Bazinga. Okay, great. Now, what we're gonna do is called the old quick save in case some shit happens. Yeah, I solved it twice. What can I say? Um, okay. Where do we go from here? Shut up. I think you. Fuck you. Oh, so it hurts me also. Got it. Um. I don't know. Are the. Are the. The thingies, because this map in here is like the same as that map that I just did, right? I'm pulling the map up on my phone so I don't have to tab out. Is it the same? Yeah, because look, there's a breaker. Check breakers. And then it's showing pipes. Like, I'm right next to a pipe. And then there's tools here and here. Okay. So, to get tools, I have to go... Which way am I facing? Oh, this is horrible. Like, where am I facing right now? This way? So I have to go... Down and then to my left to get tools? I don't know... I think I picked... I think I picked some of these tools up before. Yeah, I did. I picked a bunch of tools up. Okay, so I have to get tools. So there's a tool there, and then... Is there tools through there also? But I can't get through there. Not ouch means those parts won't hurt you, so you should touch those. Why is there a wolf here? I could kill it, but I feel like... Should I use my gun to kill it? Because I feel like the gun is not going to work against Siren Head. Oh, I could go open the door. Oh, he left. Perfect. Fantastic. See you later. Okay, so there is a tool in there, and then a tool... I was right next to a pipe. Is there a sneak button? Yeah, there's a sneak button. And then a tool over there, but I can't get to over there, so I think I have to, like, make my way around him. Yeah, see, there's sneaky. button. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I think I'm gonna sneak around him. I'm gonna save again. Can I overwrite stuff? Okay, 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 very cool, understood. He doesn't go past here. Where is 
this bitch? Where he at? Where he at? I'm a parkour god. He is, he's spawn camping. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Understood. I don't- he doesn't like come over here. Yeah, the crawling is not it. I, this is crazy the way that we've played the game and that I have to do this. Like, does anybody else find it ridiculous that I all of a sudden have to do this like crazy parkour movement but only in like one place in the whole game? Can't go through there. My flashlight bothering him, maybe? Dev had a vision. Dev said, well, we need a barrier for this guy. Yeah, there are tools back here. Yeah, where the fuck is Cordosis part two? Okay, that's where we did the puzzle. It's right there. How do I get back there? Okay, all right. Understood. Understood. Okay. It's been 94 days since his last update. You like lure or stun him? I have a bell, but I don't know what the bell does. Don't I have a bell? Did I not have a bell? What happens if I just run past? Ooh. Okay. Oh, he's right there! Oh shit, I thought that he couldn't get back there. Okay. Wait, maybe I do that again? Maybe I do that again and uh, just but keep going and don't stop. We tried giving him a little kiss. I thought about it. Just a little, a little smooch. Yeah, CD, it's right there. Then what if I just do this? And then I do this. And I do this. And then I do, I, please don't. Oh, baby. I think maybe if I run and then I sneak, because I think I was, I think he... I thought we got a, I got, I, you know, like, what if I do this, and then I, and then I, and then I do this. No? Please stop. Oh, please stop. I think I've got it. I've got it. Got it? I didn't do it that time. Something was different. Something was different. Okay, this- oh god. Oh god. Uh, something's different. Something's weird. Okay, 
But I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be back here. It seems as if I've trekked into territory that I'm not supposed to be in. And I don't know how I've... I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Okay, um... All right. This is- this does nothing for me. I need to get back over here. I need to get over there, up on this. Hey, do I need to get back here? Maybe I do need to get back here. I never can tell where I'm allowed to be because the game is so hard to maneuver. <laughs> be gone! Go! Flee! All right. Oh. Okay. Oh, a downstairs. Well, I'll be darn. <laughs> okay, that'll work. You're not the hero in the story. Oh. Okay. Bless him. Oh, I vision. Oh. Interesting. My flashlight is so not lit, but sometimes I can make it more lit. There we go. What is that? That oh, it's just rebar. All right. So, I'm underneath the I'm under the ground now. Salmon. Yep, use that. The rusty metal sheet. We're cooking. Can we... that's done? Okay. A door. Oh, thank God. I get so happy every time I'm allowed to open a door. Ooh, a tool that I can't take with me. Why even let me... why do they even let me examine these? Like, I can't take it with me. Read. I put the main breakers down. Only critical systems are still online. Hall B has new equipment, so if you want to turn the electricity back on, you will need to find the right switching order. If the power draw jumps too high, the breaker will trip. Therefore, you need to switch this breaker before some of the breakers that I have already seen switched on. I am sure you will figure that out really soon. All other systems should start automatically. Also, check if everything works from the control room. Why do they make it so hard? Why do they make it so hard to understand? And I can't have any of these. I can just pick them up. I need to like do them. I need to like do them in an order to make it go to what? Smash! What did I do? Did I do it right or did I do it wrong? I- I think I'm- <laughs> Did I win? What do you mean examine? I can't examine it? Oh. Did I do it? I- A computer's on? I think I might have beat it. I don't know if I lost or if I won. I think I might have won. And it's not letting me examine this now. There's numbers. Well, now the computer's on, so that's good, right? It's on. The dial is all the way right. Okay. I <laughs> is anybody else confused about what I just did, even though I did it right? Me!
Yep. <laughs> okay, great. Oh. GG's. Let's just go back this way. So now where am I? What did I turn on? I gotta save, huh? He did that. It was the most scuffed puzzle solution I've ever seen. I just started hitting stuff. Oh, I did that. Okay. And that's back to that way. But I'm not quite sure which way I go now. I think this way will take me back to the guy. But maybe there's some stuff going on over here. Are you like zoomed in now? I'm squatting. And I've- I've- I've squatted. I think he left because I did something right. See, they really make you think that like you can go here, and then you go here, and then you're like, well, I don't know. Am I supposed to be here? Am I supposed to be forklift certified? I don't know. Can I- can I raise this? The world may never know. day is my brother really worth it you know like how good of a relationship do we have because now i feel like i'm kind of just out here i don't think i <laughs> I feel as if maybe... Oh no! I'm in space now! <laughs> what happened? Oh. <laughs> Can I use my tools to, to get me out of this situation? <laughs> I can't even pause! I can't even pause the game. I can't even load. Uh, I have to I have to voice quit the game. <laughs> okay, well, I should be able to load, so it'll be fine. If I don't load, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, the be the listen, the the question begs to be asked. Um, can I do it again? <laughs> if I can't do it again, then I did some crazy like frame perfect skip on axe not even a skip just i just left i left the stratosphere i i ceased to exist how do how do i specifically always do this to games i love to break games but not on purpose it's, can I do it on this side? Okay, so you just die. You either launch into space or you just fucking die by touching that train. That that seems like a a bit of an issue. Okay. Okay, so it kills you, but I just happen to make it launch me out. So I did do something weird. Got it. Okay. This game is awesome. And I can't figure out if that's a good or a bad thing. I not I can't go die. We found the two options. And the two options are death or space. 
then the guy has go uh, the guy is gone now. That's crazy. Okay, so I turned the power back on, I think. Okay. Would you guys rather get launched into space? Or no bacon? Yes. Space. You really, like, can't touch the train, can you? Space. Okay, I already went that way. I have a feeling if I go back to the area that I was in, like, it's gonna be different. Something's gonna be different. Like, in this room. Like, maybe that thing that I tried to touch earlier, I can now? Or something? Like, can I maybe interact with this now? If I do some fucking parkour? Because apparently I can't just use a simple step stool. Yeah, I still can't interact with this. The heck? What is- okay, so hold on, let me look at this picture again. So... Check breakers, I- I did that breaker, and then... Pipes? Does the game just stop? This game is so weird, and I'm honestly kind of like brute forcing my way through it because I- I need to know. We all need to know. We just need to know. Maybe the compass will show me my way. Probably not. Because the compass is fucking broken. Yeah, the compass just tells me that I'm spinning forever. Okay. So what did that breaker do exactly? Do we know? It broke. And the siren guy's gone, which makes me think that I did something. Because he fucked off. But I don't know what I did. Oh, I can open this. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. What does this do? I'd better not touch that. I'd better not touch that. I'd better not touch that. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. I'm touching it. I'm going to touch it. I'm touching it. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. Touching it. Potato. Okay. What else do I need to not do? I touched it. I'd better not touch that. Why not? Oh, <gasps> the door opened. Ooh. What does this mean for me? Is this a train? Am I allowed to be here? Greenstone cave! <gasps> this is big! Be a shame if the train came down the track right now. Toggle. Yep. Read. That's enough, Douglas. Stop making those sounds. It's not funny anymore. Yesterday, Tom got so scared that he refused to go back into the tunnel, so we had to do all the work by myself. We need to fix the tunnel as soon as possible. Next time we meet you, we might as well shut your mouth, or am I gonna shut it for you? Also, please, if you borrow something, please return it back. Power cable for the lift is missing again, and I'm not gonna search for it. Who's just writing, like, singular diary entries and then just leaving them around on, like, printer paper? Like, do you actually want me to believe that guys working in the mine are just, like, diarying and then 
diarrhea -ing. Me? Just, you're just leaving... You're li writing your thoughts out loud on printer paper and just leaving them? Sometimes in this game I feel like I'm really short. Do you ever just feel like that? Sometimes? Big cave. Oh, uh, I have a bear. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. All right. I just, it was the first thing I had. <laughs> I just, that was the first thing I could do. Next time I'll use the bear spray. Bear spray. America. Yeah, it did a little somersault at the end there. It was kind of cutesy. <gasps> Cesar! Thank you so much for the five gifted! Thank you for the five gifted. I appreciate it. <laughs> Loves animal murder. Kill more bears! Wait. You're shitting me. Okay, I thought I was gonna get stuck right there. I'm going to save. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's very, very nice. Very nice and cool. Wow. Do you guys feel like my character got shorter? Like, do you f honestly? You don't need to be like, do you think that he's smaller? I feel like I'm a little guy, kinda. Is this game scarier than Poop Killer? You know, it hasn't really been scary yet. It's just been something. Whispering Forest. Oh, it's nighttime now. Is this? Oh, frogs. Oh, oh, okay. I pst a little bit. Is there a door to this little shed here? Or am I just not supposed to go in it? Or did we do more parkour? Oh, we're parkouring again. Okay, got it. Understood. Yeah, no, no, no. Sometimes we do that. Okay, not doing parkour then. All right. Never mind. It's got power. You know, I don't think I fuck with it. I'm gonna stay next to the water, though. Oh, a horse. Seems like maybe a bad idea to have done that. Did not Fortnite emote on us. Oh, oh, bear and bees, bears and bees, bee and bears. What is this, Woody the Pooh? bear. Goodbye, bear. Hope you find your dad. Forever and ever is a very long time. Who? Oh, great. I hate heights. Oh no, the kids are escaping. that one scene in that one anime where all the kids are like escaping from the house and then mom runs up and then she takes Almost the ponytail there. out of her Just hair. You guys know that one? Look down. The orphanage. Escaping Neverland or escaping whatever that show's called. The 
Promise Neverland. The Promise Neverland. Yeah. I just watched season one of that. Okay, this is a lot of walking. Yeah, I watched about two episodes of season two and I said, nah, don't think that's, we're gonna do that. Okay, a house. Interesting, same design as the last house. I can't go in there, damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. What? How? You can't reach under here. Okay, where is it gonna load me? Oh, god damn it. Here I go. Yeah, apparently you can bend down. Almost there. Just don't look down. Pussy. Okay. So now I just need to not make any noise at all, ever. I don't know if he was supposed to activate when I tried to go into that house or what, or if it was just random. It was random, it was random, it was random. Ah! Uh, I don't know how to get away! I don't know how to get away once I've activated him! Uh, Gary Bananas, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, we run it back. Almost there. Just don't look down. Don't look down. Can I jump over the edge? Yeah. Was that banana scene a game thing or a stream overlay thing? The world will never know. It was because I got a sub from Gary Bananas. If I got a sub from Gary Walnuts, then it would have been a walnut scene. Okay. Where... Can he see... My light? see my scene. <laughs> you already know the answer. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Oh, well, suddenly yeah, my hands are very busy, so I can't switch scenes. It's all a big, it's a, it's all complicated. Okay. All right. We're moving. He's gonna, he's gonna find me. Yep. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, maybe instead of going left, we go right. Perhaps. Some guy named Gary Walnut's gonna be like, what? Who's Sandwich? I have a, I have Almost a nut there. allergy. Just don't look down. <gasps> okay, yeah, instead of going left up the hill, I'm gonna go right. No, 
not me streaming a fucking s siren head game until two in the morning. What happened? Where did the- what happened to America? You know? He heard me. He's gonna get me. I'm done. I'm toast. Okay, I- I can't run, clearly. That's clear to me now. But... I don't know... How? Maybe I have to go from, like, house to house? You know, like I have to go from one house and then I should save once I get there so I don't have to keep doing this. We never invented decent bread and we're still reeling from that. What? Sliced Almost bread there. isn't good enough for Just you? Don't look down. You know, it sounds really good right now. Banana bread. I would fuck with some banana bread. Would you need a green one either? Uh, apparently, like my brother, I don't know. Cringe. Okay, I'm gonna save right here. I love banana bread. Banana bread's funny though, because you can't just run out and get the ingredients, because the bananas have to be kind of a certain way. Full game walkthrough that goes for 57 minutes. <laughs> How long have I been playing this? Can I shoot him? I shot him in the dick. That didn't do anything. Good to know. Good to know. Days. It's been days. Banana bread at work? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, I think what I need to do is I think I need to go from house to house because I was able to go f to this first house no problem and then maybe I sneak to the second house. Like, he's right there, I see him. So I think a combination of sneaking... Dude, he can't see me that easy. Dude, he sees you so easy. Is it my flashlight, maybe? Because that's going to make it so dark. Look how dark it is without my flashlight. What about the night vision binoculars? Like I can't even if he if I see him, it's like Milkman will save you. The milkman. I'm almost inclined to like save if I get like here. Here. Maybe he can't come up here. Maybe I'm safe. Greenwood. Ah! 
I think I did it. Save. Save. He can't come to a hospital. He can't do hospitals. He's allergic to latex. Ooh, fire. Oh, what did that say? I found a campfire in the wood, even though it wasn't wet at all. I couldn't ignite it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Is it really cold? Is this snow? What? Why is it winter over here? What's happening? Where are my skis? I didn't bring my skis. We could have had a little fun time. Is that ice? Whoa! I have, uh, I have... Nope, I have that. Get away, get away, get away, get away. What? Oh, oh, so we don't respect bear spray around here? Okay. I didn't realize that this was not a bear spray house. I have a gun, if you want to use that. A little, a little crazy, but, you know, don't mind me. <gasps> oh, a gem! Yum. I guess I have to use my gun. I don't want to. I'll do it though. I only have two bullets. Here it comes. Yeah, that's true. The hatchet was actually all right. Maybe I should use the hatchet. Okay. Then I just simply stand and wait to heal. Actually, I think I can eat these and they help me. You feel a little better. Can I feel better? You feel a little better. Your hands are a bit stronger. What about an apple? Okay, so they don't really heal you, but they kind of heal you. Got it. I'm still bloody. What is this cabin in the wood? Can I go to this? No. Greenwood camp. C crooked s spine trail. Can I go in here? Oh. What a nice little cabin. Oh. Oh. Why is there still blood on my eyes? Interesting. Choice of decor. Okay. I don't know how to do it, but I have to start somewhere. I don't remember anything. How I got here. What happened to me? I don't even remember my name. The first thing that comes to mind is someone holding me by the shoulders and carrying me into the cabin. It was very cold outside and I was half naked and seriously injured. Brother in Christ, if you walk about a hundred steps up the hill, there is a literal hospital. Decided to write everything down so I could remember. Day one, night. Today I felt dizzy. I didn't have an identity card and I don't remember anything. The name of the man who saved me is Sam. He's a local lumberjack. A local luberjack. He told me he found me in the middle of the forest lying face down, cold and wet. Sam took care of the wounds as soon as I got better. He went out to seek medical help. It's dark outside, and I'm too weak to go with him. Day two, morning. What happened last night? I woke up outside the cabin. My bandages were torn, and my whole body was covered in blood. I felt very disoriented, but sometime, somehow I managed to get back into the cabin. My hands are covered in blood while I'm writing this. Sam is still out there somewhere. I hope he comes back soon. Day two, afternoon. I remembered something. I'm in a cave, and I'm filling a bottle with water from a small pond inside the cave. For a brief moment, I saw a large shadow in my peripheral vision. Something hit me in the back, and I fell in the water. I panicked and started drowning. Suddenly, I felt a sharp pain in my chest and realized that I was losing a lot of blood. I have no idea how I got out of the lake, but the next thing I remember is Sam carrying me. Day two, night. It's night, and Sam still hasn't returned. I'm afraid something happened. I feel weaker every hour. I still can't stop thinking about morning. I'm so weak, I can barely sit, so how do I get out? The door was open in the morning and I could go in, but how did I actually, how did I open the door that night? Why did I actually want to go out? Did Sam come back and run into the 
some troubles? Did it try to help him? Something's wrong. I can feel it. Day three, morning. I woke up and my bed was soaked with blood. I have a headache. I'm losing too much blood. I remembered a few other things. Okay, well, do we have to have a conversation? Because t if if bleed w woke if waking up it covered in blood is a big deal, then talk to me once a month. I see Sam running through the woods. He looks quite frightened and runs in front of the wolf. What will happen is I open the door and go out. But what happened next? Where is Sam? Did a wolf attack us? I this I hate reading this. I have a very bad feeling about this. It's getting pretty dangerous outside the cabin. I saw a torn torso of a deer. Wolves must be getting very aggress aggressive. My condition is getting worse. I hate when they lore dump. I hate when they lore dump. I hate it. I hate it so much. Like, I ain't reading all that. No. Open. 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 Examine. What? Um, what are we examining? Okay. Cheese. Oh, that's nice. I it's it won't let me examine it. I can open it, but it doesn't let me do anything. Can't open that. Okay. Can I hatch it open? I think the flashlight must bother him because that's why I have the uh, like when I switch to these, that's why my flashlight goes out, you know, because I'm supposed to use those. Oh, there's a shoe. The other shoe. Examine a piece of wood. Oh, I guess I'll take it. I, I don't know. My face is still bloody and it's bothering me. Oh, okay, wait, I can put that in there. Okay, good night. Nice. Maybe it's because I'm cold? Examine. Can I cook something? A potato? A roast beef? A chicken? A log? Old cheese? Apple? Bread roll? Is there something I can put in there, maybe? Wood in the stove. Hell yeah. I don't know. It's letting me, like, potentially put something in there, though, but I don't know what. Grab. I don't, I don't think there's anything for me to put in there. Is there? Nothing to cook? I can just- and I'm still bloody! Like, my face is still bloody. I don't know how to fix that. I think maybe it's just like an aesthetic choice, you know? Like, maybe we're- we're- we're leaving again. Can I go this way? No? Can't go that way? Okay. Oh! Can I go in here? Examine. There's something shiny inside the well near Luberjack's house. Wait, they misspelled it again. I might be able to get it out without... Get it out using the swing. Luberjack. How do I get it out using the swing? Am I gonna put something on there? Put something heavy? What am I doing with these? Wait, can I use these to like take something out of the fire?
You know? Oh! Okay. It's telling me to examine. What do I do here? Do I have to put- if I go- if I put me on the swing? swing to get something shiny out. I I know I must have to put something on it. Maybe a rock. Maybe I put a rock on it. I know I weigh more than this rock. Okay. I don't think that that's right, but... Maybe another rock? It's not moving at all. Yeah, a little sussy, huh? Perhaps a third rock, if you will? Oh, what's this? I found a key frozen in ice. The ice is solid and very difficult to break. I'm afraid if I use force on it, I'll damage the key. Maybe there is another way. Well, I mean... Okay, what if I take this bucket? Lime, thank you for the, uh, the two months. I appreciate it. Can I get water and then... Like, can I boil... Can I make... I have to get something hot, right? Is there water in here? No. Maybe put this in here? Anything that I can put in here that I can make hot. No. Examine this knife. Put back. Grab this. Can I put that in there? No. Guys, what do I do here? How come I can't open that? What am I missing? So I think I have to put like hot water or something in there maybe? But how do I get the hot water? Oh, here's another rock. A third rock perhaps? That just doesn't seem like a mechanic the game would have. <gasps> okay. Well. I'm- I've yet to be surprised. I- sorry, I have not yet to be surprised. I've yet to be- Okay, what- what was that that I just grabbed? A horseshoe? Can I put that in here? Horseshoe. And then I'm gonna use these... To grab the horseshoe. Take. Grab. Take. Take. Grab. Take. You can't reach any rock. Wouldn't I use these? To take it? What? What do I take? How do I take? Gun? Take. 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 How do I take? Yeah, surely the tongs. Where did the tongs go? G 
grab. It's like giving me the grab command when I have them. Press T to take. No! The fries and the tongs in the bed. Put them. Oh, so I just get close. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. This game has the weirdest, most random... You never at any point figure out what you're supposed to do. Oh, yep, that's how ice works. Picked up key from ice. Okay. That's what I'm saying, is the individual puzzles are really cool, but you never get a hang of how the game works, because at any moment you're like, oh, okay, I can do that. Why, like, why did I not use a key there like I've used a key for the entirety of the game? Oh, okay. Oh, shotgun. Shotgun shells. That's good. That is good for me. Okay. What's my journal say? Something inside the wall. There's something shiny inside the wall near the lumberjack's house. I might be able to get it. Oh, okay. Inside the well. Sorry. Okay, so I got more ammo, but it didn't solve anything else. Oh, okay. Well, I, I found what I need more ammo for, it seems. Hello? Okay, running, running, running and reloading, running and reloading. Okay. Okay, running and reloading, running and reloading, running and reloading. No! Okay, running and reloading, running and reloading. Did I get him? Okay! Random combat. Alright, add it to the list. Got it. <laughs> Why is, my, why is my flashlight so much? No. Oh, why are you doing that when you do that? My flashlight is so much. Grab. Examine. Oh, cool. Alright, sick. Is there something in here that I could use? At all? Okay, so he wasn't in here with any treasures. It was just combat for the sake of combat for no reason. And that isn't even open any... No loot, no nothing. He didn't give me anything. I thought that maybe I could use the saw. What's that? Can I have that? Oh, okay. I have this now. Wendigo horn. Seems like they probably could have prefaced that at all. <laughs> like, maybe just let me in on the hint that if I break it in half, I'm gonna explode. I don't know. Didn't know. What? You're joking. Not a single autosave after doing the only bit of combat in the entire game. At this point, I'm just, I'm just bamboozled by this game. I, oh. I'm just, I'm, I'm fully, I'm enthralled, if you will. Okay, let's just um, let's take this. 
We'll open this up. We'll put that in there. Yep, do that. Uh, go out here. Uh, see, what do, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, we have to go get the rocks. This is insane that it didn't save at all. Insane that it didn't save at all. Absolutely bong bongos. Okay, so after I get this... I just... I can't believe it. Okay, put that there. No, you go back over here. Okay, great. I mean, luckily it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal because I know how to do it now. Stop doing the flashlight thing. Stop it! Great, take that. Put that in here. Yep, put that in there. And then where were the pliers that I used? Where were those things? Did anybody know? Oh, they were over here. In right here. Okay. Grab this by just putting that in there, apparently. Come back out here. Drop this in here. Don't need those anymore. Wait for the key to just go. Grab that, take that, come in here, do this, open that up, lore, I can't with the lore, take all of this ammo, um, and then save the game, okay, then we take our gun, We do a boss fight, apparently. Oh, okay. My flashlight is not as good as it was a little bit ago. Okay, we're, we're, we're reloading and running. We're reloading and running. Ouch. Good thing we saved, I guess. I can't quit until I beat it. I just have to see. I need to know the ending. Okay, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my flashlight very bright. Then I'm gonna take my gun out, because I can't change how... Oh, but my flashlight goes away when I... God, that makes sense. Okay. Run. Two. Run. We'll just keep the well in between them. Oh! What the hell is that?! What kind of maneuver is that in a game?! What was that weaving bob?! Bro said, I do not give a shit about a well. How did I do it so well the first time? What the fuck, actually, though? What the actual fuck? I was hiding behind a house! I was hiding behind a house! It's a heat-seeking missile, is what he is. This is crazy. What if I just... <laughs> How do I dodge him? He didn't even hit me. The first time he didn't do that, the first time I could dodge him, I could just run. What is this game? How? I can't, I can't dodge him like no matter where I go. 
Maybe just keep distance? Did you see me on the other side of the house? What if I just do this? Can I like shoot him like before he's out here? Before he spawned in? Maybe if I stay at like not that far away. You know, like I don't go far enough away so he keeps doing this. Okay, all right, that's, yeah, okay, all right, all right. Okay, uh, so don't crack that, because you'll fucking die. D do I know what to do now at any point? Yep. Okay, so I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna get that out of my... Okay, so there's nothing to do there. I don't think. Let me just make sure. Can't like... I can't jump down there, can I? No? Okay. Can't go up there. Can I like... We can't reach any rock. Okay, the only way I can do that is... Okay, and then there, remember there was nothing in here because those boxes didn't do shit. The all I can do is examine that. Nothing in there for me. You're telling me that there's two boards stopping me from going through that trail, and I found a goddamn saw, and I can't. Hello. This game is, it's, it's gotta be bad on purpose. It's gotta be bad on purpose. Where's my compass? Okay, so now what? I have this horn. Do I go back? Insane. Insane tactics. This is the most, like, ironic- I have to watch that video that I- led me to find this game, just to see what they say. It might be just a playthrough. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to go back, but I am. I feel like the horn is how I'm gonna, like, defeat him, you know? Like, maybe I crack the horn when he's on me. Best burger! Can I have one? Oh, thank God you're here. Did you see that thing? Sarah broke her leg, so we can't run away from it. We hide here, but I don't think it will simply let us go. There's people in here? It's chasing us the whole time. What do you mean? I saw it several times down in the valley. That's not possible. It's been here all along. I've seen it. Oh, look. I, I found these bottles. Frank is out of his mind. I think he put this hey, in the who's water Frank? or something. I bring her to Sarah, whatever happens, what you stay here. I've done it for you. Well, well, well. Thank you. Who are these I was people? I for her all that time, and you found her for me. Stop it. Do you recognize this bottle? You poisoned us. No, you don't understand. It told me to. Otherwise, you won't hear her calling. It needs a sacrifice. They it ran out come of and save us. Oh, it won't come. You are sick. Do not come. It's just a hallucination. No, you are wrong. It speaks to me. See, it's here. Nothing will happen. It's just in your head. It's not real. I see it. I, I hear it. I don't understand. Everything is upside down. Oh, my head. How much of that shit did you eat? Too much. Go for Sarah. I'll take him, and let's get out of here. What? Huh? We put Sarah and Frank into the car, and headed back to the city. Sarah is recovering fast, but Frank didn't get back to normal. The next morning, Jack decided to search for Trevor, but did not find any trace of him. We decided to not talk about what happened that night. 
you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. I got an explosive horn and I didn't even get to use it. And then the monster that was chasing me the whole time was like a hallucination of somebody else that wasn't even get in the game the entire time. I saw him one time. How did I see it? Why was it trying to kill me? What the hell was that? No, get it off of the screen. <laughs> get it out. It had parkour. It had cool puzzles. I got launched into the fucking stratosphere. But everything else... Okay, we have to watch this clip because this was truly the clip of all time. This is, at the end of the day, this was, I think, the highlight of the game, if you ask me. I, I, I truly do. I think that this was the highlight. Hey, is my brother really worth it? You know, like, how good of a relationship do we have? Because now I feel like I'm kind of just out here. <laughs> I don't think I... <laughs> I feel as if maybe... Oh no! <laughs> I'm in space now! <laughs> that could be a sound bite for something. What happened? <laughs> this one. Oh no! I'm in space now! <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you get ejected what in Among happened? Us. Oh. That maybe was that clip itself is maybe worth playing the whole game. Perhaps. Perhaps. Good God. What'd you guys think about that game? <laughs> 2.30 in the morning. What do we think? Vibe check on that one. Thumbs up, thumbs down, scale of one, one to ten. Where, where are we feeling with that one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. What was your favorite part? Actually, everybody tell me your favorite part of that game. What really just for you? Was it space when we got launched to space? When it ended, yeah. Mine was the uh, the shitty combat at the end where we got a, a Wendigo horn that had some ability to kill us when we snapped it. And then we just didn't do anything with it. I liked that part. That was fun and exciting and not confusing at all. Yeah, the parkour. Yeah, the random parkour arc. That was also really great. That was really great. I loved that. Had a, having the item that you don't use and then the game ends the best. And you know what, guys? It had one of the best endings of all time, which is it was all inside of our head the whole time. Which is just chef's kiss, if you ask me chef's kiss if you ask me all right well i'm not going to uh hold you guys any longer uh let's go raid somebody um we will go we will go do let's go raid dens who i met in uh Australia for DreamHack and is I think doing DJ stuff. So oh good morning. Okay. God damn it. Yeah, we gotta go. Um 
Okay. Thank you guys for hanging out. For those of you that stuck it out to see the end of that terrible game, or for those of you that came in at the end of the game, thank you so much. For, don't look at my salmon plate. That's gross. It was from earlier. Um, thank you so much for giving me your valuable time for seven hours. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, and I will be live tomorrow. Tomorrow is Minecraft Monday. So we are continuing our uh, all advancements playthrough with the custom sandwich mod. Minecraft Monday. And then I will be streaming Tuesday. I have a sponsorship with apartments.com. Kind of crazy. A little bit nuts. I know. Kind of nice. All right. I will see you guys later. Stay sexy. Uh, goodbye.